Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another live stream. We are diving back in today. Hopefully everybody is a good and a raring to a go. I know a lot of people are probably breaking up from a work or school today. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to the holidays if you celebrate it, obviously. Not everybody does. Um, but yeah, hopefully everybody's doing okay. Uh, yeah, we can probably do, do that. How's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to be playing um, some Grand Tactician, which is like a American Civil War strategy game. Uh, it does some really, really cool things. It's a very, I guess, indie game. It came out uh, not so long ago out of early access. Um, and the game is made by a small team. Um, and it definitely does show. It is clunky. Uh, the UI could be way better. Um, and the AI kind of sucks. <laughs> but, you know, them negatives are all outweighed by a lot of other stuff the game does have to offer. Um, and, yeah, it's really, really cool. Uh, really cool. So I think we're going to go in. We're going to mess around with it today um, and, and have some fun. Um, and, yeah, basically just uh, kind of explore. Again, the game is a little bit hard to uh, to grasp at the beginning. Um, but the game also has a lot of automated features that you can slowly slow turn off. So I think that's a really good idea. Um, but, yeah, it should be really good fun. But how's everybody doing? And yo, thank you so much, Fem, for the seven months. God damn, we're closing in on a year. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, so uh, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Also, uh, Monday, we're going to be starting... Um, I'm going to be basically finalizing my mod list for a new Let's Play. Which is going to be cool. Yeah, so it is, it is very much like Total War uh, in the sense of it has campaigns. The campaign is real time, though. Which I think only lends itself because you have all these armies moving I and mean, you're moving armies to counter the enemy, uh, which is quite cool. Um, uh, you have battles on a pretty large scale as well, uh, which is fun. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just got like a very nice, like historic, like, it's kind of, it's, yeah, it's very much like the old school grand strategy games, uh, which is cool. Um, so yeah, be fun. Been away for 10 weeks. Good to be back. Hell yeah, Fen. What were you uh, up to, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, what were you up to? So we can load up a game whilst people just filter in. Um, it should be fine. Is that going to show it? I don't know. For some reason, it's showing my Discord. Uh, hide my nudes quickly. I also really need to go through my uh, my Discord and adjust all of my my servers and, and actually go ahead and make them into a a bit more of a um, better thing because yeah, it's pretty pretty goddamn messy. Hey, how's it going, Eric? Welcome. Yeah, I'm doing good, my man. How are you doing today? Um, and yeah, how's it going, Biggest? As always, welcome, welcome, welcome. Someone actually commented um, on... Uh, was it one of my videos? Oh, yeah, it was someone commented on my latest video, Biggest, about um, about you. Because I, I was showing my screen and talking about Bannerlord um, on my on my uh, desktop, on my Steam profile. Um, and then someone was like, you have more things to worry about. You have a friend called Biggest Dickus, obviously, on uh, on Steam, which was quite funny. Um, uh, do we have music? What's the music like on this? Do I need to play my own music? Probably. Uh, what was the ultimate general civil, uh, soundtrack like? Was this a good soundtrack? Do we have a full list of soundtracks? Or not? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Copy written. It's always hard with these smaller names because sometimes, or smaller games, because a lot of the uh, soundtracks are a bit messy. Um, 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 um. You want a One Piece MMO so bad? Be cool. Hey, how's it going, Black Wolf? As well, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, let's just listen to the Imperial Rome soundtrack. It's pretty good. Yes, the job done. 
Uh, cool, so I think we're just going to dive in and just start a campaign. We could do some historical battles, but I don't think so. Uh, we could also do a tutorial, but I feel like I've got an okay grasp of the game. Um, so I'm sure I'll be fine. And if, the, uh, if I get smashed, then I get smashed uh, fairly easily. Uh, phase one training for the Royal Navy. Uh, hell yeah, Fen. Hopefully it went well. Hopefully it went well. Um, so I don't know who to play. Probably gonna play the Confederates because apparently the Confederates have a bit of a harder time of it. Um, the Union get way more men, more resources, um, and I think that's better for the AI. Apparently the AI in the game, um, is okay, but definitely struggles. So it's probably better to play as the, you know, the, the, the underdog in the game. So I think we'll play Confederate, um, and we'll just leave the policies as is, which I think is fine. Uh, we'll just play on like, I don't know, hard, mediocre. I mean, I'm a pro gamer, it would be a very hard, right? Yeah, we'll just play on like hard. I mean, no, actually, I'd rather a bigger aggression on the AI, and maybe we'll go medium difficulty. Like medium difficulty, and then like the second hardest, aggression. So basically, the Union will just be attacking us more, utilizing their, uh, their resources a bit more as well. Yeah, it's American Civil War. Uh, 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 it's so annoying as well that this game doesn't have multiplayer. Like, why do none of the, like, in-depth grand strategy games have multiplayer? And, like, good multiplayer. I don't mean, like, play by email or anything. Um, I mean, like, a good multiplayer. Because this game would be so good with multiplayer. It has battles, it has in-depth campaigns, it's real time, so armies are moving around like, oh, it'd be cool. I mean, I understand why not, because it's probably expensive and these are all made by small teams, so that's why. But, oh, oh man. Yeah, I think, Julius, I think the only thing thing I'm going to command is armies, structures, and probably policies. I'm going to let the AI do all my building, um, and I'm going, to, I'm going to do the tech as well. So I think I'm just going to do armies, tech, because I haven't really got to grips with, like, building yet, um, honestly. So yeah, I'm going to do policies and, uh, re and tech myself, with obviously army management, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, I think we'll just dive in. I'll let the timer tick up to 10 minutes uh, of the stream and then we'll just dive in and have some fun. But yeah, next week, more Bannerlord. Uh, Monday Monday and Wednesday, I think I'm going to stream twice next week. I think Monday and Wednesday, we're going to do uh, finalizing a Bannerlord campaign list with Forbury, already expanded and stuff. Um, and then on Friday, the brand new update for Bannerlord Online drops. It's like a massive economic overhaul. And, uh, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. Is it building just more gun factories? I mean, kind of. I mean, no, they've, they've added a lot. From what I've been, I've been watching the historical gamer play this to kind of get a grip, grip of it. And yeah, he definitely, towards the end of his playthrough, he definitely gets a bit more uh, feel. Oh, so yeah, so we have order delays. So this is a really cool feature in the game uh, and something I'd love to see in more grand strategy games. Um, is an order delay. So basically what this means is that the AI um, will send messengers from one division to another. So basically if I'm trying to um, if I'm trying to move soldiers, if I'm trying to move a, a division or a corps or whatever from one place to another, the commanding officer will have to send a messenger to that division to then move it. So it takes a bit of time for like, but it's not like instant. So if you see you're being outflanked, you need to deal with that well in advance. And that obviously means the closer your generals are to the front lines, the quicker the orders get sent out, uh, which is really cool. Fog of War is obviously Fog of War. Uh, the readiness system is cool. It basically means that if you like get smashed in some battles, um, maybe the cold weather is really hitting you, you're low on supplies, your army is going to be fighting way less effectively, won't be able to do as much, won't be as organized, which is cool. We're going to turn on feuds as well. Feuds is a pretty interesting system. It basically means that some commanders may just disobey your orders because they don't like you. Uh, no, messengers can't be intercepted, I don't believe. Um, yeah, I don't believe. But yeah, the feud system means that if two generals don't like each other for whatever reason, they're just like, no, I'm not going to do what you told me to do. 
<laughs> which is quite funny. But yeah, which is quite funny. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, it, from what I've watched, and I've played a little, um, the Civil, this is like a, a really good game. It's just such a shame it's not multiplayer. Again, understand that multiplayer is such a huge undertaking. Um, but oh my god, this game would be so good with multiplayer. Gonna need some team building. Yeah, exactly, Crisis. Um, so let's get into the campaign uh, quickly. Uh, so we're just gonna leave these on historic, I think. I don't think I need to do anything. So we have the Old Dominion. This basically means that Virginia will definitely secede uh, to the Confederacy, uh, which obviously will give us um, extra cities in the North, which is really important. Basically puts us on uh, Washington's doorstep. King Cotton basically means we can upgrade our, our cotton exports to Europe and try and get them in. Um, and then I believe this one, right? The Alliance with the Natives doesn't really do much from what, I'm seeing, what, what I've seen. Territory plus 25 recruitment for many Indian tribes. Like I haven't, I haven't seen that really be beneficial. So I'm going to turn that one off. And then we might do industrialization. Could be kind of good. Um, offices support for pro-slavery. Fire eaters will increase southern support for all slave states by 20%. But also increase northern support for all free slave states. Kansas is a slave state. Slaves to the west. I just want, like, better guns, right? Organize the movement of weapons to the southern armories and forts. Number of weapons available to the Confederates is increased by 50%. And the Springfield weapon types can be made available for reduction in southern industries. That could be kind of good. Um, or support for construction of the southern railroads. Increases more, basically, we have a better credit rating, which just means more more soldiers, bigger armies. Uh, let's just do uh, industrialization. I think that seems like a good one. What's the game? Uh, it is Grand Tactician Civil War. Uh, yeah, very cool. So let's do them three. So let's do Old Dominion. So basically, we will definitely get Virginia. Uh, King Cotton, uh, which means we have better exports to our cotton industry. And then industrialization will basically mean that we'll be able to industrialize um, a little bit better. So again, Europe increases population within the Confederacy by 25%, but lowers uh, unity due to religious unrest um, and resentment towards slavery within the immigration pool, which is fine. Um, and reduce national morale by five. But then we can basically expand our industry past level three, which is a good. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. That seems like a good little setup. Let's go ahead and uh, save the game. Uh, I don't think it already matters, right? Uh, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, let's just do it quickly. So, uh, we'll be Confederacy, Spring, 1861. Uh, we'll put these on Mediocre, but Elevated Aggressiveness. Uh, we'll turn this off um, and... Yeah, Old Dominion, King Cotton, and Industrialization. And we will, this is all on, and we will start the Grand Campaign. Uh, yes, Imperator Rome music on. Uh, how's the gym been going for me lately? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, this was my latest deadlift. I did, uh, I did uh, 155 kg, which is what, like 300 and something pounds. Um, went up pretty smoothly, I would say. I mean, it was definitely a, a fight. But happy with it. Um, yeah, happy with that. Uh, my squat, I haven't really been pushing my squat or, or, or bench, to be honest. Uh, but my bench is... 70 for one i think and my squat i haven't really uh i haven't really done anything in my squat um like i haven't really pushed my squat because i don't know i don't really trust my knees um yeah i don't really trust my knees too much um but front lines please do i have to leave this oh that's kind of annoying i have to leave that open uh yeah so um Uh, yeah, so hopefully next year. My, my goals for next year with lifting is 200 kg deadlift, uh, like 140 squat, and probably like 100 and yeah, probably like 100 bench is probably all in kg. Um, hey Jackie, Knights of Honor 2 would be great. Yeah, I definitely think multiplayer Knights of Honor would be very, very cool. I don't really have the time at the moment to dive in, but definitely I think that game is the best in multiplayer for sure. 
So you have the, the normal ground and then you have this, you have intelligence, supply and stuff. You can really see a lot of stuff, workforce. Um, is that the right posture to lift? Um, I mean, when you're going heavy, you're, when, you're, when, you're, when you're doing a one rep max, your form isn't... Like, obviously, you don't want to hurt yourself, but your form isn't a priority when you're just trying to do a one rep max. If I, if I was doing that for eight or something, yeah. Um, but yeah, when you're going heavy, it doesn't really matter too much about your form as long as you're not, like, inducing an injury. And with deadlift, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's de deadlift isn't quite squat or uh, a squat or bench where you're going to like pop an elbow or or break a knee uh, when you when you when you go heavy. Is this game worth it at the price? Um, I I don't know. I haven't played enough to really give you a um, give you a solid answer. If I'm being completely honest. So let's get started. So we start off before the war has erupted. As you can see, we haven't got Virginia yet under our control, but Virginia should go ahead and switch over and we will go ahead and get some armies up by Richmond, right? No, yeah, we basically get all of uh, all of Virginia, which is this, right? This is Virginia and North Carolina. These both secede to us, uh, which is really nice. Um, Army-wise, we don't have to worry about anything. Um, so you can see at the beginning of the war, Sorry, I, and it's annoying the game tabs me out every time I do this, but I need to see the thing. Um, so yeah, we're going the war, national morale. We have a little bit less national morale because we chose the industrialization focus, but that's fine. You basically win the game if you break the other faction's national morale, and I think you have to get it below 25. Um, if it goes below 25, then you win, and again, that decreases depending on um, depending on how many casualties you take in the war, what places are taken, like if we capture Washington, D.C., I believe we go ahead, and yeah, they get minus 20 hit, so again, that's all important. Winning battles, convincing the European to join your side. The main, the main goal, though, is to destroy this. You have national support, you have morale for armies, loyalty... Uh, men in the fields, right? So right now this is pre-war before factions start seeding. So we we don't know one has many men uh, Experience is also pretty important as well because the more experience you have uh, the Better your soldiers fight and that's quite a big thing in the game um, I mean you obviously also have uh, you know trade warfare economics and stuff like that So you can see as well that the uh, the Union uh, economy is doing pretty well right now 28.4 million dollars compared to our 60 uh, so hopefully we can do some some stuff about that, uh, which is that we have our military. So we have a couple divisions, uh, basically any. These are basically just like state militias, uh, nothing uh, whatsoever. We also have a bunch of garrisons as well, which are just garrison forts, which are basically just like cannon divisions, uh, which we don't have to worry about too much. We obviously have a fleet, right? Yeah, we have a fleet. And I think all these guys are in uh, in a harbor right now. Um, and not really much. So we, we might look to build some ships. I think we're going to mainly focus on on pushing north and just like fighting, maybe taking Washington um, and, you know, fighting in the valley and pushing off. We obviously have a lot of officers as well. I imagine uh, Lee is here as well. Uh, where is Lee? Is he here? Maybe he hasn't joined us yet. But you obviously have all your officers, um, which is really cool. Oh, yeah, and I can also name divisions and regiments. So if you guys want to have your own division when we do get to building armies, we can do that um, very, very, very nicely. Um, oh, yeah, and also, actually, sorry, let's save this really quickly because you can actually also implement your own general. And I think I've got my general fighting for... Um, yeah, fighting for the Union. So let's change that over. Um, let's give myself some good initiative... Um, let's go over to the Confederates. We'll be from Mississippi. Maybe a little bit of... We can't do fame. God damn, you can make yourself so OP. That's kind of crazy. Uh, let's do that. Let's go a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and a little bit of cunning. And we get to pick one of these, right? Engineer, Artillerist, Cavalry, Veteran. Oh, then these also cost points as well if you want all of these. Okay, cool. So let's maybe just do that. So we'll go veteran. And we'll go infantry leader, right? I got them. And I... 
you know, that that looks that looks perfectly like me. Perfect. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, I don't want to overwrite. I want to create, please. First name, last name. Perfect. Jackie Dish. Yeah, cool. Engineer probably not a bad trait either. A few more points. Let's just put it in leadership. I want my men to fight for me, you know? Um, yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and overwrite now. No, I just overwrite him. Okay, whatever. Turn him off. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Uh, and then I guess we'll just start again. I didn't really do anything right, so... Um, boom, boom. Mediocre difficulty, elevated, turn off natives, add industrialization. Everything's on. Start new game, cool. Hey, Squiddy, how's it going, man? Welcome back. Ten months, god damn. God damn. How's it going, my man? Hope you're doing well. Looking forward to Christmas. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we need to do too much. Like, I I'm sure, from what I've seen, the AI isn't crazy hard to deal with. So I doubt we have to go too hard. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, and if we get we get wrecked, we get wrecked. But I think it'll be fine. Okay, cool. So anyway, what were we... We were, we were just looking at that, right? Military done. So now I'm a, I should be a commander in here. And I can give myself command of, like, some regiments and stuff. Uh, which would be good. Finances, obviously, we're super poor. Policy. So this is, like, the tech tree that we have to deal with. Um, we get to basically pick these policies and they will provide us um, with bonuses, obviously. So you have like more government funding, uh, which will give us um, the max uh, more subsidies, which is good. So it means we'll be able to do more policies. Agriculture, obviously will improve our agriculture. Industry improves industry. Military is pretty important, I believe, because the more of these you get, the more... Uh, the more like soldiers you can you can basically mess around with so the more of these get the the larger your units can be I believe if you get military one your units go from like 750 to like 1500 per regiment, which is really good So we'll basically want to get military and military act um, Before uh, before the war starts in when does the war start again in like three months time? I think what we'll do though is we'll probably grab King Cotton, right? This will give us maximum agricultural exports to Europe this is something I think the game could desperately do with a, a, a lick of pain. I definitely understand the, the vision of the UI they've gone for, but it's just a little bit too um, unwieldy, I think. Like the fact that it takes like, it just like hot, like fades in and I feel like it's quite hard to read and it's quite hard to actually tell what this policy does without really diving in. Um, I think they definitely could go in and, and really take a... A nice little paintbrush over this and just improve the UI a little because like it should just basically have like the the it should have like the the flavor text which it has and then it but I feel like it should have like an actual um but it should have like the actual what it, what it actually does like in stats in hard numbers below it you know it says like a research speed but it should also be like this is what you know it will ha this is how it will affect your country and just give me numbers like plus two more money you know i don't know and yeah the uh the text is pretty horrible as well i feel like that should, yeah i don't know that's like one of my big negatives about the game is it it is just a bit like I understand, like, I understand that this could all be, like, how it is. But, I, yeah, I really wish this would be a little bit clearer. So, we'll go ahead and grab some uh, better, better exports. It's going to take us 25 days to do, which is fine. Uh, we're going to rock with that. And I'll turn off auto manage. I want to do that. Um, uh, yeah, how's it going, Balin, as well? Welcome. Um, so, that's that. Policies we... Uh, sorry, uh, projects we don't have to worry about. We, we basically have to wait for these to fill up. And then we can spend some money on improving this, which we will do. Uh, but not right now. Building some production. I'm going to leave all of this on AI control. I'm not going to really mess around with that. I might add some buildings here and there. But I think for the most part, I'm going to worry about it. And then goods and trades, we don't have to worry about that either um, right now. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and manage my tech. And imagine manage my projects. Uh, and that's about it. And then we're just good to start playing the game, I think. 
So America divided, uh, which is all good. So yeah, carry on. And we just let the game play. We let the game play. There's not really too much to do at the moment. Um, we're just basically waiting for war to erupt. Yeah, so this is uh, this is a, a grand tactician, the American Civil War, basically like a a pretty large scale strategy game with uh, real time campaign. So the campaign is real time, like a paradox game, but it also has big battles as well. Again, the battles aren't the most prettiest uh, to look at, but they're really strategic. Um, battles can last many days. Armies can reinforce. Um, and it has a really cool command structure, like the order of battle in this game is super cool. You have like messengers having to, to move units around, which again is really, really cool. Loyalty in Missouri terms. Uh, succession has happened, right? Cool. Yeah, and again, like this is like really just unclear about what's happening. I don't know. I feel like they could do it much better with like notification system in the game. There's obviously like forts and stuff like again we don't really have to worry about this we have like a couple armies scattered around but we basically get given armies um as we go further kentucky vows to be remain neutral uh more successionists again like this is just like the lead up to the war and you probably start in this start date honestly if you're if you're like going a bit more heavy on like the building micro because you can't like build buildings and stuff um we pause it quickly uh, we'll just go down. We can't pause it when we're on that screen, which is fine. Um, yeah, so you, like obviously you can build like a lot of buildings, like markets, agencies, prison camps, military academy. Uh, you can build more stuff like this, like farms. You can go ahead and grab up and, and start building more of this stuff and improve them. And railroads as well. Uh, but again, I'm not going to mess around with that. I'm just going to let the AI deal with that because I haven't really got to grips with it quite yet. Texas joins the Confederacy. That's good. The maps are updated. Borders have moved. Good, good, good. So we now have Texas under our control. If we go to the front lines, you can see Texas is now part of the Confederacy. You also have cannons are up here as well. Uh, no, not yet, Squiddy. We've literally just started. We've been live for like 20 minutes. Uh, but I'm sure we will have a battle pretty soon. I have stuck the AI to be a bit more aggressive, so we should see that hopefully come into play uh, monthly economic report. Uh, excellent. Our debt is increased by 10 million. Current liabilities is 10 million. Uh, so the morale of the Confederate armies is 96%, which is fine. So yeah, we're basically just was buying downtime and Civil War start. But yeah, the entire campaign map is um, is real time, which is cool. Uh, and yeah, you'll, you'll start seeing more armies like moving around and stuff. And it, yeah, very cool. We have naval. There is no naval battles, but you do also have naval stuff. You also have this uh, Fort Sumter. This is what starts the war, right? Right here, the Confederate shoot at Fort Sumter and then initiate the war. Lincoln inaugurated the cabinet to handle the crisis. Northern population calls for action. When does the Civil War start again? Is it April? Yes, yeah, no, it's a very cool game. It's a really cool game. It's an interesting one for sure. And yeah, I mean, I'll say it, say it into my deathbed. I wish this game had multiplayer. Because from what I, from what the reviews and stuff, what I hear is like the AI is like the one of the worst parts of the game. Um, it, it's definitely gotten way better, but yeah, I just thought oh, multiplayer would be so awesome with this. But again, I understand why we don't have it. Okay, Virginia is getting closer and closer to seceding, which is good. April twelfth, cool, cool, cool. So we are closing in. Yeah, we're commanding all the Confederates. And we'll be able to dive in and really take a look at our military uh, momentarily. Weapon-wise, what do we have weapon-wise? We have 30,000 Springfields, which is good. We actually have a lot of uh, a lot of Springfields. Didn't realize we had so many. That's good. Because the Springfields aren't amazing, but... Two and a half shots a minute, 250 effective range. 
Not bad. Yeah, we don't really have much cavalry weapons. And cannon-wise, we're, we're mainly stuck with 12-pounders. Yeah, we're going to have to obviously get our, our weapon industry up. I mean, ideally, what I want to happen... Am I here? I should be here, right? There I am. Jackie Fish. I will lead the Confederates to battle. I am a captain. I am a veteran. I, I obviously fought in the Mexican Wars. I'm a West Point graduate, and I'm a branch of the army, so I'm better at combining the infantry. When I play CK3 anymore, I just no one really watches it, honestly. Um, generally, if like a series does well, even if it doesn't do like amazing view wise, if a series gets like enough likes and comments, I, I generally keep on doing it. But yeah, it just not many people watch it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's just like a, 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 ch a thing that I haven't really built up much on the channel. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's not much. But I will be covering it when the Game of Thrones mod goes into beta, I think, in early January. I will be, I will be taking a look at it then. Hey, how's it going, Zach? Uh, again, if you guys have tips for me, please feel free to throw them my way. So we've gone ahead and established the armies. Is that, is that, is that giving us the armies now? So, organization, pattern up there, Davis authorized to call up 100,000 men. Regular armies of 16,000 men planned. Cool, cool, cool. So, we just got these divisions still? I think so. Yeah, so where are you? You're down here in the south, right? Yeah, we have the Florida State Militia and then the South Carolina State Militia. North Carolina and Virginia have not conceded, uh, have, yeah, haven't, haven't uh, joined us yet. Why am I fighting as the Confederacy? Because apparently the Union... Well, the Union gets so many more resources, more men, more guns, better economy. Um, and again, apparently in the game, the AI does struggle a little. Because um, I guess there's a lot to take into account. So we're playing as the Confederacy because it's just harder. And hopefully will provide us a better game. <laughs> this, isn't for, this, this isn't Banner Lord, unfortunately, Lord. It would be kind of cool if there was. Yeah, I mean, Knights of Honor was a lot of fun. We might take another look at it um, later on down the line. But I don't really have massive plans to at the moment. Um, so we, we actually have a fair amount of... So these are sea transports. This is river transport capacity. We're not really... Like, is it a dumb idea? For those of you who have played this game, is it a dumb idea to start building some navy now? Because obviously we want to try and break the, the Union blockades of our ports as, as quickly. Like, you know, we want to, you know, utilize that effectively. Would it be dumb of me to build some ships, like, right away? Like, get some ships built? You know, would, would it be stupid to start getting some stuff done? Because, you know, obviously, if we can break a few of the Union blockades... Because I think the Union blockade a large portion of our ports in the south. And if we can break them, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But I don't know how viable that is. Like, is it, should we just save our money for, for troops and stuff? Yeah, the Union start with way more ships than us. They basically blockaded the entire coast. No, don't build naval units. You need to be very pro. Focus your attention on the army organization. Okay, we'll do. We'll do, we'll do. And yeah, we're going to name all the divisions and stuff as well. So if you guys want to try and get yourself a division to help fight me, fight for me, uh, then you guys can. River defense only. Okay, cool. Um, also, Julius, should I be building any extra buildings? Like, should I get down some prison camps or anything? You need a navy for rivers for sure. But don't we, don't we, don't we get given a navy as well? We are navies, like, somewhere up here, right? So, yeah, again, another question. If if the Union put their navy, like, so where are we? We're, where's Washington here? Yeah, if, if, like, the old Richmond or somewhere. So, for example, if the Union had their navy here, would we not be able to cross? Could they, like, blockade crossings? That's a really interesting way of doing it. You know, like, up here. 
I would leave the AI to mend buildings. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess I guess I'll show you how proficient I'll be with the armies and stuff, and then you can probably tell me when it's time to move on. <laughs> okay, war is just around the corner. We'll go on to, to 50 times speed. Get there a little bit sooner. And we'll prepare our guns to fire. Again, I'm just gonna wait because um, when when the when the first shots do fire. Oh, we enacted our first policy. Nice. So King Cotton has now been. Um, yeah, has now been done. The demand for cotton in Europe has increased. So did that give us extra stuff? Um, so that's now been done. King Cotton has now been done. So agriculture policies will allow the new acts that improve crop export to Europe. The maximum amount of annual agriculture subsidies is increased per policy level, allowing financial following. Yeah, the economic is like next level and building yourself economy is like a separate tutorial for you. Okay. Okay, so now we've got that. I guess we should probably try and grab like the military act. This will this will give us soldier volunteers for one year contract so yeah we'll get soldiers to basically fight in the army for a year and then we also want a military act as well we have enough time march april so we'll be able to get this done before the war and this is only 10 days as well so military act is more funding level for military so we have to get better better stuff okay cool let's grab that then and then we'll get military act and then we'll probably go government funding after that or maybe industrialization wouldn't be a bad idea either. But I think this is important. I know that if you research two policies at once, it does become kind of expensive. Um, so we'll just leave it for now. We'll just grab this one. Yeah, I know the war. Yeah, yeah. The war doesn't like kind of just like, yeah, the union aren't super aggressive because I mean, the union are busy forming up at the beginning of the war as well. Uh, the speech delivered in Savannah. There has been a murder in Savannah. New government foundation laid. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting there. Closer and closer. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to basically getting Virginia and North Carolina under our control. <laughs> yes, Military Act 1. Yeah, that's one we did, right? Industrialization 1. Wait, did we just do industrialization as well? Did I click that by mistake? Is that me? No. Oh, is that the union doing it? Okay, so it's telling me what the union's doing as well. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at our influence slowly teepering over. <laughs> I wish it would... Uh, I wish I'd, I could just keep a map mode up without this um, going away, right? Yeah, I wish I could just keep a map mode up. Is the manufacturing, the supply, support, trade, slavery, workforce, intelligence. Um, supply situation is critical. Extra, extra news from the front lines is reviewing care for the citizen nature. War effort, Lincoln plans a relief expedition. Wait, are we... Oh, is this to Fort Sumter? Yeah, the first shot's about to be fired, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I know you have to supply your armies. We got a new what, monthly update, monthly economic update. I think our economy is staying the same. That will obviously change when we get into it. And our intelligentsia report is that if they're uh, military, and they're currently doing military one as well, which is fine. So the ultimatum has been issued. And at 4 a.m., which has just passed, right? Fort Johnson opens fire. And Fort, Fort Sumter has been bombarded. And the war has begun. Fort Sumter surrenders. Uh, rounds fired. No casualties. 
and the militia has been called. Nice, and we just got Military Act 1, which is huge. So what we'll do is immediately go to Military Act uh, 1 here. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Mil military 1 we just researched. So now let's grab Military Act 1. This is only 10 days as well. And this will give us one year contract. So basically means people will join up to the army for an entire year. And I believe once the year's up, the soldiers actually disperse um, and go back home. So we're going to want to obviously upgrade to uh, more veteran stuff later on down the line. That's fine for now. Uh, okay. And here we go. The war has begun. A house divided cannot stand against itself. Yeah, the guy doing this, uh, doing the, the speech isn't the most uh, exciting. Okay, so here we go. We've just been given like a million armies um, to deal with. So, as you can see, if we go to front lines now, you can see that... Um, so we're not going up. Oh, we're going. Crap, crap, crap. Pause, pause! <laughs> so, as you can see, North Carolina and Virginia are, I believe, soon to secede. I mean, they have seceded, but apparently the... Uh, there you go. Boom. Done. So yeah, they've now seceded, uh, which is good. So you can see we've, we've now conquered uh, a large more, a large portion of territory here. Right off the abat. Make sure you keep close, keep divisions closer to home provinces. They can fight more efficiently. Yep. Uh, we have now army. So again, we're going to have, we have some attrition here. So I imagine we're going to have to probably build up a supply depot here or something. It's going to take off front lines, you can see. So we have the Army of the Potomac. We have the Army of the Shendo Valley. They're going to be like our main frontier armies. Washington is a butt of stones for our way. Um, and we also have the Army of the Northwest as well. And we have combat over here as well. I mean, this is obviously going to be a bit of a minor, minor theater um, over on this side of the map. Yeah, the main fight is going to be around Washington. Apparently, they have an army stationed here, do they? We've got a Western army here of, what, 2,000 men around the fort. Are we, are we not conquered this yet? That, that looks like there's an army right there, right? Um, And here as well. Is he, are these just like forts I haven't given out? Or are these my armies? I feel like that blue flag looks like the Union, right? Oh, no, they're just main armies. Okay, good to know. And then this, that. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, okay, so do I not have to worry about these these poor supplies? They'll just basically get supplied when the uh, when these are upgraded and built a bit more, I imagine. Okay, so let's deal with our military. So we have a few supply issues, which is fine. Let's hope it gets sorted out. British intervention is already at 30% because we've done King Cotton. That's good. Hey, the British get put into the war right away. That would be amazing. <laughs> Obviously not going to happen. Um, actually, wait, when's, our, when's this done? This is done in nine days. Is it worth waiting for our first military act? Should we, is it better to wait for this, Julius? Nine days? So we can basically get longer standing forces? And you said if we take a, a foot in Louisiana, they'll be more likely to join. We got our navy's down here as well. Our navy is positioned just down here. Not really much to do with it right now, I don't think. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. We'll focus our, our economy elsewhere. You can already start recruiting volunteers. We'll keep coming. But I thought... So I thought when I recruited... So if we go to... Garrisons are off right. If we go to the... Oh, this is horrible. Why is the fun like this? <laughs> I understand it's supposed to be like authentic, but it's just a bit needless, I think. Um, yeah, I, I thought when we when we recruited, cheers, 
I thought when we recruited, like, we decided the divisions, like, thing here or no? Is that not how it works? Oh, no, they already have a year contract here. Okay, then we don't have to worry about that. And that tech is basically pointless. I guess it allows us to get the next one. Okay. Uh, and you, you said I should go for... Uh, I mean, Louisiana is already part of us, no? Yeah, Louisiana is already part of the uh, Confederacy, is it not? Do you mean like up here? If we take like this, maybe? Oh, the city. So if we can take this, we could convince uh, Mississippi to join us. Or Missouri, sorry. Okay. What's our army currently looking like here? So Missouri State Guard is very poorly supplied. So it might be a good idea to bring this army back and rebuild it at the supply point. Yeah, I might do that with the army, but we'll, we'll do all that later. Let's, let's deal with the front lines first. Let's get our armies, because I want to basically build up like 15,000 men in the Shando Valley and the, the Potomac. So let's do that first. Um, so let's do the Potomac first. So right now, we, we basically need to... Yeah, so let's get a new, let's get a new division and we'll stick these guys under. Uh, you'll stick these guys under him. Uh, and then we've got another division there. I'll stick these under him. Um, so how big are these guys? They've all got Mississippi rifles. They've got a Springfield, which is fine. What's the difference between the Mississippi and the uh, Springfield? Can't really see what this does. So this is five. Oh my god, this is amazing. 500 yards, 2.5. Very good accuracy. It's obviously like a historical thing, right? Um, yeah, because like the normal Springfield muff muskets are less range and worse firing. A bit, bit, bit of firing range. We have 6k of them and 30,000 of these really crap rifles as well. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So let's go ahead and grab... So we have you and you. Which is fine. 500, 1800, 1800. Can we in pre increase this... Uh, this division because it's kind of a small a small group i'm not sure if that's possible either way we'll leave it for now uh let's go ahead and re let's go and recruit some more units so let's go ahead and grab uh, some more infantry uh we'll grab them i guess from virginia right would be the sensible thing to do You know, we only have 1,500 men from Virginia, but that'll be fine. Uh, we'll get an infantry. Uh, we'll just do them for volunteers. 3,000 men seem a bit extreme. Yeah, we literally don't have enough uh, from there. So we'll just go with a 1,500 man brigade. Which should be good. Cool. So that'll go under him. I mean, how many, how many men is this army? So this is 5,000. Okay. Let's add another unit. Uh, Virginia doesn't have any more volunteers left, which is fine. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Georgia has 4,000 men. Let's grab some Georgians. And again, like, do we really, like, how big do we need to make these divisions? Yeah, I feel like 1,500 is, like, plenty. So we'll grab another one. Can I, like, sort by... Oh, I can't, that's annoying. North Carolina, sure. Can have another division. Okay, cool. I think that'll be enough because that's how many men? That's 8,000 men. Then we need cavalry and artillery. I don't know. if it, Is this going to be enough? I don't think so, right? 8,000. I want to be around about 12,000 in the Potomac. Like, how big do we want to make these cores as well? I guess we'll add another infantry division. Um, I guess Tennessee. Uh, and then one more here. I've got some men from Georgia as well. Why not? 
Uh, I guess I'll make this one a little bit bigger. Probably not that big though. <laughs> yeah, let's make this one, I don't know, 2200. So Lorings will be pretty strong. And then that's, that's 12,000 men. Okay, cool. Now let's... Uh... Now let's uh, now let's grab some artillery. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like put infantry in its own because you move armies very effectively by... So we're going to add another... We're going to add another core. I'm just going to have like an, an artillery core. Like this, because like I, from what I've watched people play and stuff, the artillery is just a bit annoying when commanding. Uh, let's just get some Kentucky artillery. Um, maybe we just make it like a medium size artillery. And I feel like the artillery just gets in the way a bit of moving divisions around. So we're just gonna get like I don't know three regiments of artillery, and then we also need some cavalry, which I will probably just leave on its own. So Alabama, Alabama. Uh, yeah, just some like, we basically just want maybe like two units of cavalry to scout as well. Um, so Alabama and cavalry. Cavalry is not going to be great at this point in the war. I don't think we have horse artillery yet. Artillery is special officers. So I should want, I want this guy to have like an artillery trait basically. This colonel. Yeah, cavalry is just for scouting at this time period. Okay, I think that's the Potomac done, right? Potomac done, we have 13,500 men in the army. That should rise up um, and be pretty good. Uh, Gun-wise, we, we do need to stop. We need to change this. Um, so let's make, let's make Johnson's core really good. Johnson's core of 6,000 men is going to be our main embodiment because they already have the Mississippi rifles, which are really good, right? Yeah. So Johnson's core is going to be our main strength. So let's stick Ben with our best guns at the moment. So we'll give them the, the Springfield rifles, right? Oh, we should have some more Mississippis. Okay. We could probably stick this on like, yeah, let's do that. And let's give these guys the Mississippis as well. Yes, nice. So that'll just give them extra range. They'll be able to fire, they'll be able to fire more rounds um, at higher range before the Union can close in on us. Again, we're really making the Army of Potomac probably a bit too strong. I should probably spread my guns out a bit more. So that the uh, the the Shendal Valley isn't going to be as uh, as caught up, but it's fine. Uh, so everybody's got Mississippi's. You've got Springfield's, which is fine. Uh, and then on this side, Mississippi's mixed rifles. So we'll give you guys some Springfield's. Give you guys Springfield's, and then I'll give you guys Springfield's. We're running out of guns very fast. <laughs> Like, very fast. Um, in artillery, we have six pounders, six pounders, six pounders. Probably want something a little bit heavier. So we have some howitzers. Um, which are okay. Probably the 12 pound field guns are, are nicest, right? If I are a little bit more, their range is the best. How many guns does this battery have as well? We have a few more 12 pounders. If I can get 12 pounders and everything, that's probably what we want. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then cavalry, we have mixed weapons, but I think we have enough uh, of these guns as well. Yeah. We'll, 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 the cavalry, I don't think, are super important, so we'll just give them the uh, Springfield rifles. Okay, Army of the Potomac are done, um, which is good. I think that'll be a good little division. Uh, then we have the Shendu Valley. Uh, is there a way just to, like, get to it quickly? Mm, like, from this screen, maybe? Doesn't look like it. So, the Shendu Valley. Let's do that now. Let's get that up and running. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one, right? Led by Joseph E. Johnson. <laughs> yeah, we're playing as the uh, we're playing as the Confederates. Mainly it's because apparently they have a bit of a harder time with it. Uh, obviously, with the lack of resources, so it becomes quite good, I think. Okay, let's just do exactly the same we did. So let's just get one, two, uh, two cores. No, three cores.
Yeah, apparently the union is just a bit easy because we don't really struggle. Okay, we actually don't have tons of manpower, so I might actually wait. I wait the eight days so we get more manpower. I might go ahead. I mean, Julius seems to think it'd be a great idea to uh, reinforce this army, the Mississippi State Guard. I might actually bring the Mississippi State Guard back here. Can I move them by rail? Do they have access to rail? Only here. Yeah, I think I'm going to get them back. And I'm going to recruit some more men in them. Um, it's the Mississippi State Guard, which is right here, right? Or well, Missouri State Guard, sorry. Yeah, we're, we're bringing them back to the depot. And these are what, really small divisions? Yeah. So let's go ahead and actually recruit a proper HQ for them. We're actually merging a bit as well. Yeah, we merged them too. So Clark's is now how many men? A thousand men? Uh, so let's like, maybe merge them. Put the cannon under him as well. And maybe recruit a, a brand new Texan um, guard. We don't need that many men. 1,500 I think is fine. And we'll stick that under him. So that takes his army to 3,500. Um, and probably like one more infantry for now. Um, and hopefully they can get out without, because I know the Department of the West have an army here, so we want to try and avoid them as quickly as possible. God, we're really lacking manpower. We need Military Act 1 to go through. Yeah, we literally can't recruit anymore. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, get out of there now, boys. I'm going to save a lot of my guns. Uh, do we, should we start producing guns now as well? You can do that, right? Military officers, weapons. Should we start... Should we buy some guns? Should we order anything? Um, or is that not... Yeah, order available. So we can actually only order some 12-pounder guns. Okay. I assume that, that will start to happen. Or is that down to policy? I think that might actually be down to... Sorry, yeah, projects. We have to then order some stuff. Okay. Okay, yeah. Could we need, like, these guns to, to come up and then we can... Yeah, Confederate rifles, I think, is what we need, right? You need to close auto-manage. I never order weapons. I think that'd be, that'd be something I can easily do. Oh, yeah, weapon purchases, yeah. I think that's something we can, we can, we can mess around with. That's not too extreme. Okay, let's play. We, we basically need the next military act to, to come in. I mean, ideally, it's not the end of the world. So they shouldn't be able to attack us because everybody's readiness should be really bad. This bar here. This needs to fill up before they can really, arguably, set up a, uh, an offensive. Has it gone five times for now, I think? That's fine. Do you also develop better guns? Yeah, so you can import guns. So you can import Austrian... right. So from what my understanding... From my understanding is you um from my understanding is you have to wait for this bar to fill up and once it fills up you can then invest your money into these projects and they'll give you access to it so for example if if we this fills up and i do it then i can then buy austrian rifles which are a, a specific certain type of rifle uh they're the lorenz rifle uh for example down here you have like legacy rifles you have medium range carbines you have prussian rifles which are like like basically like world war one rifles um you have like british rifles and stuff but obviously the better stuff it is the, the longer it takes to get there um i'm not exactly what is required to fill these up and i think you can only do one of them at a time so i can only do one brown funding at a time whether it's civil or military so you have to pick like the blues i can only do one of these blues at a time i believe So hopefully, you said to build a depot as well, but I don't think we can build. Yeah, we can't build anything yet. And I think, yeah, these armies have already got supplied anyway, which is fine. This army's a bit out of supply, but I think it's just filling up now. I mean, it should be fine. As I said, our main focus is literally just to build up both of these armies. Is our army moved to the west now? We pulled back yet? Where was it? It was up here, right? Did you not move back? Yeah, you should be moving back. Why have you not... There you go. So yeah, nice. This army's now moving. I think there's no reason to, to start fighting for Franklin. Like, we'll just move back. 
I maybe should have moved by rail, to be honest. That would have been quicker. To be fair, it would probably be quicker now uh, to move by rail. Um, and we'll just set them to move by rail. You guys can. I don't think there's rail here, but there might be. Uh, no, our, re our, readiness, our readiness is too low. So we're basically going to send this army back to this depot. Uh, they'll be able to resupply weapons, artillery, horses, provisions. And then we're going to boot up a little bit. And as I said, we're going to go for... Uh, Go for this. We do have a Department of the West. 16,000 men! Without 1,600 men. Yeah, okay. Now they're going this way. They're, they're low readiness, so they're moving, like, very slow. Is that 1,000 men, or is that 16,000 strength? Yeah, you can see readiness is a big thing. We don't really have... We have, like, barely any, any ammunition. We're just buying time. And this is almost done. Five more days until this is done. Good, good, good. Oh my god, they're already moving. How have they already got men? Yeah, they brought down the Department of Pennsylvania. I mean, that would not be good, right? 18,000 men? Oh, sorry, is this... How many is it? Is it 18,000... Sorry, is it 70, 11,000 strength or is it 5,000 men? Okay, they're camping across the river. We're in the Potomac, so that's fine. We're in wherever the state. Yeah, we're in Manassas. Is that what it's called? Oh, okay. So, so they're gonna go up to sixteen thousand men. Okay. And we have we have thirteen hundred. We're reinforcing some more. Okay. Um, I mean, factory workers funded, religious unrest in the U.S. Hey, how's it going, Swedish? Welcome. So I kind of feel like we should just mirror them, though. Like, do we have the supply here? We can't build a supply depot yet. But, like, I don't know. I feel like we should. I mean, I guess we're going to have to cross the river. So that's not really a major issue for us. Like, we, we should be able to see it in time and be able to bring this army over if we need to. Because it seems like the AI is, like, amassing their soldiers around Washington. Which makes sense. They don't want to give up the capital. But that, that allows them to then pincer in here at P the Potomac very, very easily. And did we manage to get back yet? Yeah. Oh, they camped on the railroad. Fuck. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way then. You have to. Oh, you guys are just in a bad situation. Can you just fall back? You guys literally can't move. Can I cancel what you're doing? Because they have... Yeah, they have 1,600 fucking men there. Yeah, you guys need to go back this way, I think. No, can I not send you? You're just going to get caught. I mean, we could run up to St. Louis, but... Okay, they're railing. They're railing down to my depot. Like, what can I do? I'm moving so slowly because of my lack of supply. I maybe should... Yeah, I probably should have just sent them on the rail earlier. Oh, so bad. So I guess we just have to go back here. No movement possible in hostile territory due to low readiness. Yeah, so I literally can't move them. <laughs> I think we might have to raise another army out here uh, later on. This is what I'm mainly worried about, though. Uh, yeah, and as I said, we're just waiting for our military, our military act one to be done. Economically, you can see we're not doing great. That's fine. Send them to the west. I mean, I can't move them, right? Oh, that's enemy territory. Sorry, this is enemy territory. My bad. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I guess we could just try and maybe rail. I'm just like, I feel like the only way to get out of here is like, they've taken the supply depot as well. <laughs> but his army's just fucked, right? Like, where can they go? I guess we just have to come maybe down down to, uh, do we have a depot anywhere down here? Like, where is our nearest depot in the south? There isn't really one. <laughs> I can see a surrender already. <laughs> you can use rail, but also the river. Yes, yeah, so maybe we should, like, river transfer these guys down to, like, here. Would that be a, yeah, sea movement, right? River movement. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get them out of there. Oh, they're still going to go and get intercepted, though, right? I think they're just dead. 
<laughs> oh, well, we'll leave them for now. We'll see what happens. They'll probably lose a battle and then retreat, and that's fine. I, I should have I should have moved them either by river or by train right away. And instead, I, uh, yeah, I messed that up. But we live and we learn, right? Readiness is slowly going up, which is fine. And so we're mainly just waiting for our armies to build. How's it going, Liam? How's it going, Jose, as well? Welcome, Jose. Yeah, I've been watching a really good series by The Historical Gamer. He does a good job of explaining stuff um, and going through it. Our credit rating. <laughs> okay, cool. How's it going, Miller, as well? Welcome. Uh, so, Radius on this army has gone up, probably because it's, just, it's not as big. As I said, we're literally waiting for this to be done, which is do done in two days. And we'll be able to recruit up the rest of the Shenandoah army, which would be nice. We have an army over here as well. How many men? It's only 700, okay. Oh no, we escaped. We managed to get in without an army, which is good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bring this army back there. They're so low on provisions. And we're just going to have to campaign. Like, we can just then sail back up here. Again, it's going to take up more of our transports, right? Yeah. But it'll be fine. So this this number should go up now, right? Yeah, 11. Which is fine. Yeah. Because, yeah, the army is fucking scary, right? 16,000 men going up to 21,000. And we can even just campaign normally as well if we need to. Like, build our way up here. Going to, like, Caroline and, yeah. Price running low. Where is this? This is the army, right? Yeah. The army currently sailing. Sailing down. Davis calls for his militia. Provisional army has been formed. Okay, cool. So, uh, policy's been done now, right? That was that? Yeah. Policy's now done good. So we can now, we now get a bunch more soldiers to recruit up. You can build army in the West, 25,000 in three months. Okay. I mean, probably as my first time playing through as the Confederates, I, I, I really should probably focus on taking Washington. Should be like my main goal, I would imagine. Regulars, following an army of Confederate soldiers, regulars have not reached its target. Only a few small units have been recruited. Most of in order. No. Six small regular units within training experience. This will basically just give me some more armies. Which isn't bad. Uh, we could do... Letters of Marquis. Letter of Marquis basically allows people to raid their ships, right? This will hurt Union State, but also destroy relations with Europe, which we don't really want to do. Diplomacy policies increase the maximum amount of annual diplomacy subsidies per policy, allowing further diplomatic endeavors. Improve relations with the Europe as well as weapon import deals. I feel like that would be quite a good one to grab. And then what's this one? Funding policy allows new acts to introduce new sources of income to financial this maximum. So basically, improve our credit rating or get better deals on guns. Don't want to go down to Act 2 quite yet, I don't think. Or improve our cotton exports. I think we're going to... Let's, let's grab this. Let's grab Diplomacy 1. This will give us some better deals with the Europeans, I guess. Because we're going to want to start importing rifles soon, I think. Because if we look at our weapons and we go to order... Let's order place, sorry. Orders available. Yeah, we can still only import these. Which is annoying. Yeah, we can still only import 12 pounder howitzers. I've got the ping with Discord. Uh, no, I didn't. It's there, SCP. I did it. It's just, it was a weird thumbnail. For some reason, it carried on that thumbnail.
How's our readiness looking? Still okay. The army is up to military policy one enacted by the Union. Okay. Just going to give them some more money. Oh, yeah. We can now recruit, right? Uh, my corp has reached the given target. Good. So Price has now returned. This should give him the ability to basically raise an army and resupply before we move north and get re his readiness up as well, which is really important. And how's it going, SCP? Welcome, man. Cool. So we'll deal with that last. I mean, first things first, we need to raise an army by Washington. So the army of the Northwest. Is it that one? No, it's this one. And the Machendo. Cool. There probably is a button here. But I really... No. I feel like there should be a button here to kind of go into... That's where they're being supplied from. Yeah, I feel like there should be a button here somewhere to like bring up the order of battle. There probably is, though. Oh, is it that, actually? No. I feel like there was a button here last time, which was like order of battle, but I guess not. Uh, okay. Um, so let's go here. Armies. Okay, let's go ahead and start recruiting some more divisions. So one and two. With Jackson's brigade. And we'll start adding some more infantry. There we go. That's what we want to see. Plenty of men. Um, yeah, I feel like 1,500 men is fine. We'll go up to 25. Now we have the men. Sure. Away with you, Violet. Hey, SCP. Thank you so much for the five. Yeah, I saw Henry Cavill is in talks with uh, people to make a Warhammer movie. But it's being made by Amazon. So... I don't know. I feel like Amazon don't exactly have a great track record at the moment. So... Okay, so one more. Guess we'll just take uh, Texas, sure. Okay, cool. So that's that. We have our cavalry, which can, can cavalry break off. And I probably want an artillery general as well. And the cavalry can just kind of be by its own. Like, I feel like these are okay armies. Nothing too special. We have like an artillery bat battlement. Um, yeah, we have like, you know, a couple of sets of guns, some decent infantry. And again, I'm not planning on pushing into Washington right away. So I think we'll be on the defensive anyway. So we have to like kind of really utilize that. How many men is this? This is 12,000. Kind of feel like I maybe need some more infantry. Because if they're rocking like 1,600 men... I mean, let's see how many guns we have first. Um, yeah, so we just have the Springfield muskets, which are really bad. None of these. So we just have these Springfields left. Okay. We're going to really need to really... Um, we have none of these, right? Yeah. We're going to really need to step up our game. We're going to need to get some rifles imported like ASAP. Because these Springfield rifles are just not... Not great. Is that everybody? And our cannons. You have 12-pounders. I guess we'll go up to the 12-pounder howitzers on these guys. A bit heavier. And we, we have them. We have a lot of 20... No, actually, we have a lot of 24-pounder howitzers. I think we can go with that. Okay, I mean, your 11,000 men. Uh, okay, let's add maybe one more division to each of these guys. One more division. Is that what they are? Divi is it division size? Or regiment size? I guess regiment, probably. Let's maybe add one more regiment each. Because, I mean, honestly, that's probably all the rifles we goddamn have. But 
There you go. 16,000 men in this army, but they're not going to be as good. Yeah. I think that's enough in the valley. The uh, the Potomac will be a little bit stronger there. And then we just need to deal with our new army, which we, we're forming down here in the south, right? Which is here. Which is going to be uh, the Mississippi Guard. Or Missouri Guard, sorry. Yeah, Missouri Guard, if that's all we have to do, then we can just start maybe fighting. Missouri Guard. Missouri Guard right here, cool. Uh, let's maybe add another division to them. I'm just going to make these smaller. Um, this army isn't going to be as big. You know, we are still facing a, a fairly scary force. We just don't really have the rifles right now to uh, to distribute to everybody out here. And they're Texans, so they are a little bit closer. Uh, we'll make an artillery regiment as well. Probably just two cannons. And again, we don't necessarily have to fight the Union. Um, like we don't honestly have to be super aggressive. And then these guys, yeah, not good rifles. Let's give all of these guys Springfields. There's probably an easier way to do this as well. That's ah, fine. Yeah, I need to get on like importing weapons like ASAP. Uh, and then their cannons can go up as well. We have we have a lot of 24 pounder howitzers. They're not great. Their range is okay. But not ideal. But we have a lot of them, so <laughs> have fun, boys. And I'll probably just add, like, one more. I'm trying to basically use everybody from more of the west here. So Texas can grab another smaller regiment. And then we'll probably leave it at that. So then the army of the Missouri State Guard will be around about 11,000. That should be enough, I think. And they'll build up. Um, and then we'll utilize them to either... Run interference if the Union Army comes down the, the river here and attacks us over in um, Arkansas. Or we'll use it to maybe go up the river. I mean, honestly, it'd be amazing to go up the river and either try and take, like, uh, St. Louis here. Because that would completely cut off, like, the Department of the West from going north. Hey, how's it going, Fred? Welcome. It says Brigade on the side? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. And should we like pull this army out? It's kind of starving a bit. Could build a depot down here. That would be a bad idea. In case we do have to end up falling back. Just to get anywhere. Let's construct a depot there. Five million to construct that, but I guess it'll be worth it. Just in case we have to pull back across the river. Okay, so the armies are now building up, which is good, good, good. Yep, yeah, I think like I'm pretty confident if uh, they, they do decide to attack, we should be in a decent spot to deal with them. Oh, we can do our first policy, apparently. Oh, we do a lot of policies. Okay. So I assume we're going to want to probably do reborn muskets. Spend 1 million solidities, military. What does this do? I imagine it will give us guns, right? How do I see what it does? How do I see what this does? <laughs> yeah, like, why does, why does it not tell me what it does? Question mark, question mark, Julius? The text on the left? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's probably it. In America, there's no lack of weapons, but many weapons are already old and obsolete. A quick open, quite a number of rifles and arms volunteers. Miss Minister. 
Oh, okay, so that's not good. I probably don't want to do that, man. Recruitment of better officers? Yeah, sorry, I, I, I was so zoomed in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't look too great. We do need more guns really badly, but... No, it's all good. I wasn't paying attention here. Um, cast artillery? This will give us Napoleons, which are really good. Yeah, no, that's not good. I thought that was we were able to build some better rifles. I mean, how much longer until we get... Um, yeah, Ossian rifles are not looking good. Cavalry rifles soon. Confederate rifles is what we need. So I guess I'm going to wait until this fills up. Which, again, correct me if I'm wrong, means I don't want to do any of this because it will take funding away from it. So we're going to save up for Confederate rifles. Obviously, ideally, we want to go into the Austrian and British rifles, but for now, we'll just leave it. Yeah, I think that's, that's the plan. Yeah, supply hub has now been built, which means these guys should be able to uh, supply. They're lacking guns, right? Um... Grand Territory Confederates today issued a 25 million bond on the public debt market. Currently interest level of 8%. Nice. Okay, cool. I, I also feel like as well this game could do a much better job of showing me the economy. Like, I feel like it's quite simple. Like, just show me a, uh, I don't know, a moving graph or a number. And like, when you hover over a number, it tells you if it's good or bad, and like what zone you're in. I feel like right now the, the money is quite, I don't know, it's not great. So this army is up to 9,000 men, still reinforcing, still gaining supplies. Should be able to supply here though, I would imagine, no? It's low on food. Is it because there's no supply depot here? Should I build a supply depot here? I thought like the river would supply them enough. You, the Union are unable to fill their ranks. Maybe we should push on them. <laughs> Maybe it's up to us to push for River. We go to like Fredericksville or something. I mean, for the most part, we're just waiting for our armies to get ready. So we'll go up to 20 times speed. I don't think I have any depots, though, close here. Like, where's my nearest supply depot? Can I go on the supply map mode, Maybe. I guess up to like Charlatan up here. Yeah, I guess I'd have to bring the army up here, right? I don't think I have a supply depot like anywhere here. I mean, we can do that. We can bring it up here. Just bring it by rail. Or by like river movement. Or rail railroad is actually probably easier. Yeah, let's bring it by rail actually. Uh, yeah, you have to save up the subsidies to unlock what you want. What's your credit limit? Fall below C. You can't recruit. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I appreciate the tips. And like, does my credit rating just fall depending on... Does my credit rating just fall depending on like, the more troops I recruit and stuff and the more policies I do it just decreases? I mean, in turn, is there a way for me to increase it? Um, how much debt are we in? Uh, so I think it would not, not much. Um, again, I feel like this game could do such a better job of showing me it. You know, I understand what it's going for and stuff, but like, I don't know. I feel like there's a point where it could just show me it in much better. It's especially the finance tab to show me a bit better, probably, right? Um, 35 million right now. 
Expanding the economy. Yeah, I mean, I've got the AI on building all my stuff because I'm just not that confident to, to touch that yet. Um, we're just going to focus on the army stuff. Um, so the armies are getting there. They're, they are slowly, slowly readying up. Does this army move this way across now? Yeah, the Department of the West is moving closer and closer into Arkansas. Which is fine because I'm going to let this army basically get up here resupply and then i think we're going to river transport up and we're going to hit them from behind i think it's gonna be really good uh diplomacy is on the go as well 17 days there supply depot is going to be built which should hopefully support hampton's men in the south and again just give us a place to fall back on i am very cautious of like this honestly like, I feel like this could be taken very easily by the Union if they wanted to. But I imagine they're in the same issue as me. It's like their readiness is just as low as mine. Oh, man. I wish this game was multiplayer. I feel like this game would be so good multiplayer. Because it's like so in-depth, but also kind of just easy. Just move armies around. Um, yeah, so there's only this army down here, which is lacking. In, I mean, there's only ammunition as well. We're not fighting. Um, we're obviously being blockaded here. There's not really much I can do about this. Like, their, their fleet is just way stronger. How, like, how... I guess it'd be really hard to supply it. But how crazy would it be, like, for the Union to actually just send a, like, a naval invasion down here? Because I imagine you'd be able to, like, conquer Charleston. You know, like, what's there to stop you? Uh, nice. Good, good, good. Good job. So he's arrived here. This should be enough to supply him. And we need to get his readiness up. Poor readiness in 107 days. That's not good. That's a long time. Um, readiness represents the ability to carry out orders. Military operations decrease his readiness. Whilst the rest of his supplies will improve. So once he's like, yeah, once he's fully supplied here, he still needs some ammunition. Uh, the Royal Navy is avoiding us. We're getting a little bit blockaded. Two blockades now. So the, the enemy Navy has come in uh, and blockaded us. Uh, we still can't buy any good rifles yet, right? Which we really need to because I've kind of maxed out my rifles. But I think we're going to save up. Um, yeah, I think we're going to save up and get the Confederate rifles with our subsidies. Confederate guns. Is that what we want? Is this just cannons or is this everything? Yeah, these are just cannons. I want rifles. Correct me if I'm wrong here as well. But yeah, this is just the cannons. The Confederate guns. There's a gun one as well later on, right? Artillery forms. Yeah, Confederate rifles. That's what we're going to go for. Because yeah, we're already rocking kind of low. Yeah, I mean, eventually we want to get the, the, the Napoleons for sure, but... I think I need rifles first. I mean, I don't necessarily need the rifles. Like, immediately. We've got enough, I think, to be able to hold the, the push. Is he building a fort there? Is that what that is? Or is that a supply depot? Yeah, he's building a fort on the road. Okay. And our main army is here. 9,000 men reinforcing slowly but surely. Union calls for more volunteers. Diplomacy act has just been done. Okay, cool. Diplomacy has now been done. Right? No. Or is it... Okay, it's literally about to be done. So that should hopefully up the British intervention a bit. And make it cheaper for us to import guns. Boom. Diplomacy 1 has now been done. So I guess we just go government funding. Like I just seems like it seems like a good idea to grab one of each of these, right? Like the first sets just seem kind of good to get. This will give us better credit rating. Now credit rating isn't really that bad right now.
go industry. So, th so just, just again, I'm, I'm trying to learn the game as well as we go. So this says it will um, allow more annual subsidies. Does this mean I'll basically get more policy, get more projects quicker? If I if I went for this one, is that what that means? Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go industry when you guys seem to say that this is better. Industry subsidies is increased per policy level. Okay. So again, this will allow me to get more industry policies. Again, I wish the game would just like... I understand that it has all this flavor text. I just really feel like as someone who tries to learn the game and just to make it clear like it could have this flavor text and then just below it where it has like the research rate just it literally have like a very concise give more options to industry or like increase uh funding increase project quickness or i don't know and like i i, I absolutely hate the writing the italics is is just so unnecessary <laughs> uh Cool. You start by subsidizing the industry, then you can make more ironworks next and it won't cost you more money. Okay, great. Sounds good. Oh god, they're moving, they're moving, they're moving. Where are they going? Seventeen thousand member. I mean again, I want my readiness to keep on increasing. I want to at least be yellow before I try anything. But the Union Army just moved north. Again, so like the, the reason why we haven't just like immediately run into battles is because both sides are improving their readiness. This is the start of the war. Everyone's recruiting. So we're kind of both sides. Battle of when in the end. Wait, what? Was there a naval battle? It what? It didn't ping me that it was a battle or anything. Maybe I, I must have missed it. The Northern Carolina Squadron disintegrated. Okay, well, fuck. There goes our Navy? <laughs> Question mark? Do I have any other navies that aren't ported? Yeah, let's get these ships in. Uh, can I get these ships into port? Like up the river? Uh, yeah, I want you guys to be like ported like ASAP. Um... Another navy's down there, right? Oh, an engagement! An engagement! Where is this? So they're trying to push across. Take my supply depot. So we have the army of the Shenandoah, which is only 11,000. This is my weaker of the two armies. And they have 18,000 men. But they're attacking, so we get to fight on defense. Yeah, I mean, I was busy looking at myself. I would have seen that going. Luckily, they didn't move in with two armies. But I guess they feel like they don't need to because they outnumber me by 7,000 men. But yeah, we were in trench um, and it should be fine. Let's fight our first battle. We haven't fought a battle yet, uh, but it should be fine. As I said, we're on the defense, so it shouldn't be too bad. So the Battle of Winchester, Virginia. After the initial skirmish and maneuvers, the opposing armies have deployed for battle. The Confederacy fields 11,000 men under Brigadier General Johnston. I didn't go ahead and change any generals. Fuck. The Union fields 18,000 men under the commander, Brigadier McDowell. Was it McDowell? One of the, again, my, my Civil War history knowledge is very limited. I just always remember McDowell. Is he the really indec indecisive one? Because, like, didn't all the commanders for the Union pretty much at the beginning of the war suck? Yeah, I, I have replaced all my rifles, though. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I have replaced. However, this army mainly just has Springfields, whereas the Shandon Doan army has uh, all, my, all my Mississippis and stuff. Okay, so our scouts report. The enemy are near... Uh, Virginia and our armies prepare for battle. We are facing an army of the Northwest Virginia. McDowell's strength of 18,000 men. The enemy army is green and the morale is reported to be eager. Reports indicate their supply situation is outstanding. State supply army is outstanding. Okay. Okay, is that our army? Where's our main... Where, who's our main general? Where's our main general? Cool. 
Okay, so our main objective is to defend here. Holding this will guarantee us a battle. And I assume they're just going to come down the main river. Like, I assume they're coming in from the north. Like, I assume they're coming in, like, from this river here. Like, down this main road. Through the village. And then across this bridge. Instead of crossing there and crossing there. So, the thing is, I feel like we should probably mount up here. We have the woods to our left. There's just so many crossings. And he, he outnumbers us. But, like, how smart is the AI? Uh, yeah, so you, basically you have this bar up here. The ba battles can last multiple days and the, the deployment changes depending on who, what, like how far you push up and stuff. And we actually have a very nice river here though, as well. But yeah, you basically want to hold the victory point. It's like victory point and casualties wins you the battle. So what do you guys think? Hold further up. Like hold this river in the north. So yeah, just write northern river. If we should hold the northern river and the main roads. Or if we should just hold here. I feel like if we hold here, I can probably send like a detachment out here into the forest. To cut off any reinforcements and cut them crossing across here. And I can hold this river with like entrenchments and stuff. Very nice. then like up here like again i don't have the biggest army in the world you know i only have what like five one two three four five six seven regiments yeah i think i think i'm more inclined to hold here if i'm being honest so you're just you just have one regiment really why do you only have one regiment your cannons i mean you're just the main army Oh, I guess, his, I guess his divisions haven't fully formed up yet. That's probably it. Because, like, he only has one, one regiment. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and take Boehm's division, and we'll stick him up in the forest. And he can basically guard this flank. Yeah, he can basically guard this road. If they come, we have the forest to our advantage. We can then stick our cavalry out here to basically keep this pathway under our control. And then, yeah, we'll just hold them at the stream. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, god damn it. Oh, sometimes the, the controls of this game get a little bit annoying. Yeah, artillery can go here. Uh, okay, so we should probably build some... We don't have many emplacements to build, right? We should have no engineering points at this point in the battle. Again, I feel like, again, this game could do a really good job of just, like, giving you some more UI options here. We don't actually have any room, right? We don't have enough engineering points to build anything, right? Or do we? Oh, we do. Okay, good. Should we build parapets? I guess we just want to build them, like... Is that built? Are they building that? I don't know if it's... I assume they just, like, pop up, right? Well, what am I doing? Okay. Is that is that being built? It's so hard to tell. Does it, does it, does it show? Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, good. So I imagine this will be a pretty, a pretty important crossing. Or not. No? Do I not have enough points? It's too close to the river? Okay. Is that better? Wait, you want me to put buildings that put it like here? Like on this river? I assume they just like shot once they're built though, right? Or not? I thought this side of the river would just be a good little... Am I like building these? I don't know why it's not like... I assume it just does... Oh, there you go. It built some. I mean, that's a fine position for them. Put some more over here. No. 
not breastworks. It's fine. Whatever. You know. It's not the end of the world. Nope. <laughs> like, why am I building? Do I not have enough points? Surely it should just not let me do it if I don't have enough points. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so we have some pretty good divisions here. That's probably a bit too big, though. I mean, all our divisions are big, though. If you guys cover the river, we want to even... I mean, we pretty get cover right here. Oh, yeah, they get some cover when they're behind cover. Okay, so they get cover on the bank. And that's really good, then. Um, I guess we just hold the river, then, right? We get cover here. We can just adjust our formation. Again, I'm really nervous of them coming around the right flank. We have our cannons as well. So I just set my cannons up like here. And then what's... I need to hold alt right to move the commander. And they're on a hit. They're elevated, right? So they can shoot. Of them coming down the road. I kind of want to stick these on the road almost. Yeah. We need to limber these up or not? Yeah, limber up so you guys are just ready. No, you already limbered. Yeah, limber down, limber down. Good. So we have artillery facing down the road. I mean, it's alt to move the commander right without moving everybody. Yeah, good. Nice. So you just down there. Oh, this is our main commander. Yeah, I guess just go in the village. Yeah, this is our main commander. Cavalry can just literally hit here, here and be on scout. Right. Yeah, you guys just go scout. Um, I kind of feel like I want something else like on the river a bit more, you know? Like you guys on the actual river, on the on the crossing. I mean you guys a bit more across, I think. You guys there. Then this way, we're just covering river bank. We have this ready to outflank and also come in if we need them to. You think I should send this to the objective? But I want to be able to see if they're outflanking me, though. And we can even move in and out flank them. Because if they're coming down this river or this, this left road, I want to be able to see early so I can maneuver. I think it'll be fine. We can even move them mid-battle. We can reinforce wherever we need to. I think it's fine. And I guess we could even just set them up in there. They'll come to you. I know they'll come to me, but I want to be able to see if they're coming down this road or if they're going down the main road, right? Uh, I think we're good to go. Let's click play. Okay. I mean, it's already 6 o'clock as well, so the, the, the battle won't be going on for long. They'll be, like, pushing us. Like, they'll be coming on the battlefield somewhere in the north here. Oh, you, you can see them moving there. Yeah, they're in the city. It's a very scary army moving towards me. They've got, they've got a way to march. There's nothing I need to do with these guys, right? A breastwork's better to build, like, yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh, you said to dismount these guys would be a good idea. Again, I want these guys basically here just to, um, to scout out. Make sure we're not listening to something random. Well, hey guys, if you do want to end up seeing more of this on the channel, you want me to do some more videos and stuff, be sure to drop a like down below. It really helps out. It lets me know if this is something you guys would be interested in. Um, yeah, I mean, if we lose this battle, it's going to be bad. <laughs> Yeah, it might not be a bad idea as well to send out some skirmishers. It's a good idea. 
Um, end of the day, was, yeah, so literally the first day was just moving. Troops have been resupplied, so during the night, uh, army was resupplied, and we didn't fire a shot, so that's fine. Do we have a report on what happened? Quartermaster, the report suggests that morale in, in the army is intact. The army supply situation is mediocre. Supply trains reach almost all the units, and the supply levels reach almost... All the units, um, you find details in the consolidated report, which is what here. We go to supply. I mean, their leadership is very low. This is correct. The leadership on their general, it seems very low. And our administration is way higher, so we should, I assume, get more supplies in. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you were saying we could send out skirmishes, right? Do we have, like, all of our divisions big? 1,800, 2,600, 2,300. Okay, let's send out a unit of skirmishes from the left-hand side, then. Um, which is infantry skirmishes. And they can probably just take up, like, route up here. Like, is this a good position for them? They can just kind of like slow the enemy up, I guess. And set the infantry up for long range? Okay. Do that as well. Uh, long range. Long range. Long range. God, these guys in the center have really bad range. Did I not? These guys must not have the better rifles then. No, they have Springfields. What? I mean, maybe it's just the angle we're looking at. I think it's just because these guys have the... Uh, the M fields. They also have spring fields. Yeah, these guys are just very. Okay, I think we're good. We got some, you know, some skirmishes up here, which should be fine. They're just what on this, on the parapets, right? Yeah, on the fence line. And you can already start to see, yeah, the, they're coming down the, they're coming down the, the, the river. So actually, what I might do now, we have skirmishes out there. I might bring this division back in, them, and just protect my right flank a little. This is 2,500 men as well. Uh, maybe I put him up here and let him kind of just like keep them at bay for a bit. I mean, again, we're going to eventually get overrun, but we're in the forest. I think this is high ground as well. Yeah, it's high ground in the forest as well. And we can even just run across if we need to. I mean, if they come down here, then this division can, like, hopefully cross fire. Let's do that. Off HQ mode, and we'll go. Okay, we're going to see them coming down the river. We have some skirmishes. Can we then recombine these skirmishes back in? I wonder. So they're on long range. Charge, lay down. Lay down and stand up. Laying down gives cover, but reduces rate of fire dramatically. Be kind of cool as well if laying down... Also, um, laying down also re reduced your visibility as well. So you could, like, literally hide units. That would be super cool. They have a reattach button. Command. Right here, right? Double time, run, halt. Probably just can't do it right. Probably this one, right? On oh, the main unit? Okay, good. Yeah, I think this is fine. We then cover this road. Uh, we have skirmishes who should see anything coming down this river. So that should be fine. Okay, cool. Let's go. I mean, I'm hoping the Union is going to come rushing down this road and then try and cross. We should be fine. Does he cover this as well? So, out of interest. So, like, if... I assume the, it, like, the closer the bubble they're in, so if they're in this bubble, orders go out very quickly. This bubble takes a little bit longer for orders to be listened to. And this bubble is, like, very long for orders to be listened to. Is that how that works? Okay, the first Union divisions are here. 
Can we see what they have? Militia Brigade, 1,600 men. 1,300. Somehow they've lost men. And then they've actually got some proper, proper divisions here as well. I mean, how many men is that? If they're each like 1,500, so 15, 3, 6, 9. Sorry, wait. Yeah, 3, 6. Yeah, here we go. So 3, 6, 9, 12. They still have like another 5,000 divisions unaccounted for. Yeah, they're bringing, they're bringing cannons down his right flank, which is a little bit scary. Are all my cannons on fire at will? They are, right? I assume. Is this cavalry? Like, cavalry's not that scary, right? They probably crush into my skirmishes, so I'll probably kill them. Yeah. Okay. All regiments lost bin because of poor training overnight. Move the cavalry to the creek. I'm a little bit nervous, but yeah, we probably will bring them in. Yeah, they're bringing everything in. It seems like they're going to really focus on this right-hand side. So I might bring Layston's division over here. Because we already have divisions covering in the, the high ground. So let's do that. So you'll see this commander has now sent out a messenger. The messenger is now going to Layston's battalion. Brigade, sorry. And now he's heading over. And he's one of our bigger divisions as well. I mean, it, these are his skirmishes, right? Yeah, these are his skirmishes, but it's fine. Don't have sounds? Do I not? I don't know. I did turn down a lot of the sounds. Um. So music off, sound up, sound up. There you go. Do I need anything else on? I don't think I do. Right. Just make sure. we good right cool okay so yeah nice the, uh, the division the core brigade <laughs> wherever they are is now moving hopefully the sooner they get over here the better there you go yeah the sooner they get over here the better be really good oh some free girls in our cities can you uh ban that uh that account julius please yeah, we're going to bring our regiment over. They're already bombarding us a bit over here, right? Yeah, hitting us a bit. Um, we could just bring these skirmishes back. But they'll be fine. Are our cannons shooting yet? Our cannons are shooting? Yeah, our cannons are shooting at them now. Do we have a range? Like, is this our range? Yeah, with the cannons? No, surely it's more. And nice, they're coming in now, which is good. This division's going to kind of meet up on the right-hand side. Yeah, perfect issue order, please. Out of interest, if they're in this inner circle, do they like... Oh, no, it seems like a messenger still goes out. It's just quicker, right? Okay, the first little bit of combat. Oh, come on, boys, hurry up. And we are in cover, whereas they will be out in the open, so we should win this. Tell You should tell your dudes to... Yeah, okay, we'll do that as well. There you go, the first little volley. Did we get many of them in that first volley. 45, 50. Okay, so they did manage to beat us there a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and focus down that brigade then if we can. I doubt these guys will be able to see it, right? Oh, there you go, you can see your... Holy crap, that is a lot of soldiers moving on my left-hand side. Uh, I guess we'll bring you down a bit more. We're going we're gonna to get overrun on that left-hand side. Can you guys then shoot on that, I wonder? Uh, let's bring our cavalry around then. Let's remount the cavalry and get them around on this flank. I mean, we should be better off here, right? Because we're in cover and they're not. You guys can't fire on that. That's fine. These poor fucking skirmishers. Holy crap. <laughs> Good luck, boys. I mean, these guys have some of our better rifles. So I basically want to bring them in so they can fire, like... And help this gun to out. Okay, cavalry's up. Yeah, we can bring the cavalry around now. Uh, we've got a cold steel, right? We could possibly charge charge them. 
Are you guys firing? Can you guys not see? I don't think, yeah, a lot of these, this division can't see. They are, they are hitting them. I feel like it's better just to maybe turn this off the creek, you know? Nice! Send ye Union dogs back! They're already retreating. Are you guys on long range? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna pull back from this very soon. I don't want to get maybe a volley or two off. Cavalry's up and running now. We'll be good. The order is not to get to reach him. Yeah, the order is still coming. Does that mean? Feud, own initiative. <laughs> All this division. Do we, why don't we pull them back now? Yeah, get your asses back across that river, I think. Got some good shots into the side of the militia brigade. But I think you guys need to get back. Skirmish is coming back now, which is fine. I think we push it. Like, I feel like there's no reason not to push across this river on this side. Because, again, they push positioned a lot of their soldiers on this left-hand side. That's not moving yet. Um, yeah, pull back. I'm going to get the hell out of there. Press pull back and double time. Okay, good. Thank you for the tips. Again, do keep in mind that this is my first battle, so... Uh, where's fullback? Where's double time? It's movement, right? Now it's formation, movement. Double back. Cavalry is now getting up here. Where's the... Yeah, we, we pushed them back on this side. Is nice. Are we out being outranged here? I think we are, right? I think this is them fighting. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm fine with Leighton's, uh, Leighton's division to move up. So it's full. Is, is this a fighting retreat? It is, right? This is a fighting retreat. So they're falling back, but they're firing as they retreat. My God. Good luck, boys. Get the commander back as well. Uh, yeah, cavalry. We want to alt, alt click. And then we also have to want to hit cold steel as well, right? Yeah. Army orders, retreat, surrender. So why did that, why did that order go off automatically? But the other orders don't. And nice. Okay, we've beaten them at the creek. Good. I and mean, we have the defensive ground. <gasps> Butler's division broke, you cowards! How do I um okay, you guys have to come in here then. Take his position. Okay, they're in now, right? They're fighting. Yeah, good. Over on that. Is there there's a way to rally, right? Or not? Commander rally. Okay, guys, please keep that in mind. R remind me that this guy routed that Butler's Brigade, whilst the Union Army, sorry, the Confederate Army was fighting hard at the creek and Leighton's division, Le Le Leighton's division was being honorable, pushing back the Confederate's dogs. We can probably go after this one as well, right? You know, whilst the brave men of Leighton and the Breckenbridge's brigades were basically holding back the entire division. They, they, whoa, why, why are we lagging? Chill, 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 chill. Why are we lagging? Calm down. Pause. Let everybody catch up. Yeah, whilst Beckenbrick's brigade, they're falling back now, right? Yeah? They're, yeah, they're getting smashed. What can you do? But whilst Hills are holding back the entire Union army, this division cowardly retreated. I'm going to bring these guys back around here now, I think. I'm going to send the... Uh, I'm going to send Cooper's brigade to the left. And that should be enough, right? The cannons can start firing here. I don't think we really need this. I'm going to remaneuver this cannon on this hill. You can't let the enemy shoot down on yours. They will break. Okay. Good to know. Avoid that. I mean, even with the defense of the creek, was the creek not worth letting them? Because, I mean, it's such small elevation, right? They're barely higher. If, if higher at all here. But would it have been better to, like, keep my army this side of the road and shoot them as they try and cross the river? 
I mean, they're falling back now. Has this division rallied or not? Is it still broken? It's still broken, right? So is there anything I can do? They're panicked. Because it's first battle and the fighting spirits. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, we, want, we probably should have maybe just ran these guys because they are fighting the entire Union army. The cavalry is wrapping up the guns, though, quite nicely. Um, parapets to the side of white building near the objective would have been best. What do you mean here? So basically where, uh, where this one is. So it's, it's probably better to fall back to this one then, right? Now these guys have really long range rifles as well. Whoa, why the hell is these cannons so far up? Uh, Julius, can you gra can you time out that bot as well? Sorry, we're being attacked. We might have to go into subscriber mode just till we chill out. I mean, this division is tired, but they're, they're capturing every single enemy gun. I'm going to pull them back now. Thank you, Julius. I thought we could go after this one, but I don't want to lose the cavalry. They're doing a great job. Like, are these guys back yet? They're not, right? Can I stick you on rally as well? If I rally here, they'll be fine, right? The cannons lack range. Okay, but they shouldn't be, like, chasing the enemy, right? They should be fine. God damn. Boys, take some initiative. You're getting shot to pieces here. Get your asses out of there. Yeah, pull back. Will these guys come back? Their current morale is 24%. Like, is there a way to... to help them? Can you guys, like, get back? Or you guys just be stuck there? Bring the cannons back across. Yeah, the cavalry, like... Are they routing now? Oh, come on. That's not good. Why is all of a sudden my morale just like falling apart? Okay, these guys have come back now? No. Yeah? Okay, these guys have come back now. We'll leave them in reserve, obviously. They have returned, I believe. We need to get, we need to get uh, this division out of there ASAP. Uh, I'm going to probably bring this division around as well in the creek. Because it doesn't seem like they're really attacking his left-hand side. Yeah. And you're part of... You're part of this division, right? One well, of my routed skirmishers. I think they either ran from the field or... Yeah, I think they ran from the field or they just went back into their parent division. Which was Long's, right? Yeah. Sorry, Lawton's. Yeah, like divided. Again, I appreciate all the advice, guys. Thank you. So this division is something that's not really... Uh, yeah, low resolve. You guys now have your parapets. It doesn't say they have cover, though, from the parapets. I really need this division to, to re-stable as well. Is he on rally? Yeah, rally your boys. Hopefully that's us doing it. And you bombard them. Did the cavalry come back? The cavalry did such a good job. I'm pissed that they just didn't fall back in time. I maybe should have. Yeah, I don't know. Um, see the white building in the center near the road. You mean this one? Have you infantry either side of it? I mean, I might fall back on and see with this one. Can I build more parapets? Or breastworks even? That'd be perfect. Yeah, build that there. That'd be really good. And their cavalry is moving up. They should get some volleys in, but. It'd be great to build that up and then just cover, like, all of this de defense. Hold the higher ground, yeah. They have decent high ground here, though.
We're not firing back here either. Car all my artillery focus on that, please. Need a messenger to get here quicker. He's sent, being sent out. Yeah, this division is just nervous. Yeah, I mean, we know where they're coming from, right? So let's shift everything across. You guys are on long range, right? Yeah. Um, are we are we seven in the morning, or are we like what are we? Is this just the beginning of the day? Is this really all we fought? This must be seven in the evening, surely. Okay, good job, boys. Build them breastworks if you can before they approach. Happy to take this fight, right? Uh, boys, hello. Please get in position. <laughs> Because again, if they cross, it must be really bad. Don't build under fire. I think they should fall back enough now that they're okay. And they're being fired at as well. Mm, what's this mean? Outflank? Okay, just reform. Just reform. You guys are fine. You don't need to build back. Just reform. Hold the, hold the river crossing. It's okay. And these guys should both be able to fire. And I want all my cannons as well to focus on this division here. Please. Can they build that now, do you think? Oh, I don't know how long it takes to build this risk yet. Quickly build that up. Is it, like, is it eight in the... Oh, that's actually a really good idea, Divide. I've, I've kind of passed it now, but that's actually a really good idea to send a division to, um... Uh, a division to... Uh, like, a skirmish to build this up first. Okay, reinforcements, brigades here. You guys, can you guys just not in range? Maybe it's pull them back. This militia brigade's giving me what for. Yeah, I'm just getting pounded. Okay, pull back. You guys just do not have the range. They have the high ground, right? And I guess that's... Yeah, there's no way we're going to build that in time. Just reform. Reform and fire. Okay, we send one of them back. Bring this division back again. Uh, let's maybe send it. Okay, let's pause it quickly. Let's send a skirmish trap from these guys to rebuild whilst the fighting's going on. So, um, skirmishers are here, right? Skirmishers. And then we'll send these guys to build. May not build. It doesn't look like the skirmishers can build. As these guys can. That's fine. You guys should move in to engage that. I do see them out flanking me on the left, actually. So you guys go there. We'll put the skirmishers there. This division is now stable, actually. So let's bring these guys up. Our reserves are fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push more men over here, I think. And you guys go there. Are you guys back yet? No. Cavalry's not back yet either. The cavalry did a great job. I just wish they retreated a little bit sooner. These guys aren't going to be good either. They're nervous. Keep firing, boys! Yeah, we need to be very careful with this left road. Is it dumb of me to stick these guys behind? Like, are they just going to get shot by, like, rogue bullets? Let's just leave them on reserve here. Actually, let's just do that. Should I, like, should I rally anyone here? Should I take, like, this is a bit annoying as well. Is all these on rally? I mean, these skirmish is not going to last long, right? Jackson's brigade, man, is fucking holding everything back. Uh, I should probably push on these guys then whilst they're crossing. 
I'm gonna bring these guys up, I guess, as well. What's that mean again? Hide the key. Okay, just get there and hold. Just get there and hold. I mean, maybe we build some press works back here. Honestly. Because you guys will actually have to build back. So. This division's already broken? How are they broke? They weren't even in the firing range. Have a men. Bloody cowards, you yellow bellies. Okay, good. Some good shots there as they cross the creek. Outflanked as well. 70 casualties from the first volley. Good job. Okay, is it is this 8 o'clock in the morning? Why have I have to fight all this time? Yeah, I mean, Jackson's brigade, man. Is that how the artillery will fire? What do you mean? Yeah, I've uh, given them orders to fire. I mean, this is what we're hitting, right? Second brigade? Yeah. Oh, shit. These guys have to pull back as well. Yeah, our men just are not good enough here. I have a fullback? Where's my fullback? Do I have a fullback? Because, yeah, this is going to outflank me sooner rather than later. Okay, the cavalry is back. Guess is fine. Let's bring them to the flank. Are you guys back yet? No. Okay, if we can we can kind of really help out here. If these breastworks are built as well, that should give us a bit more protection. Pull back is a movement order. Okay, good, good, good. These guys are gonna break. Literally. Is that pull back? Double time. Is that pull back? I guess that's pull back and I can't. Oh, Jackson broke. Fuck, that's not good. I mean, these guys are nervous, though. They're building, but yeah. I feel like we have to take a place. It's just visible to see one division firing everything. Yeah. I think, I think the battle is lost. well we have one division about to take up yeah everything else is like broken some cavalry but not really and we killed a lot of the union guns we are hitting them as they're crossing which might be enough The AI is doing an okay job here. Like, they're pushed on the left hand side, they're outflanking me. And I just don't have the men. Just snipe the general. <laughs> yeah, artillery is now breaking. Hit that. I think. Or, I guess, hit the same thing if you guys can. Yeah, let's inflict maximum casualties. You guys just mount, I guess. Defeat. The battle is a loss. Only a minor defeat. The morale of your troops is cracked. Try organizing an orderly retreat uh, within the given time, depending on the unit's engagement. Your troops near. Time to withdraw. Okay. Do What do I click? Do I just click retreat on everything and they retreat? My division has been soundly whipped by the panic taking hold of the men. I tried rallying them, but I am unable to turn the situation. I'm doing my best to prevent disaster, 
and the other bad behavior, but it seems unlikely to work. I'm afraid the casualties in my division exceed 16. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's his entire division. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, everything just runs now, right? We just have to basically run away as best as we can. Sir, your men are rounding from the battlefield. It should be fine. I doubt they don't have any cavalry to chase me, so I should be fine, right? Is there a route button? Okay, I mean, to be expected, honestly, this was our weaker army. I was busy paying attention in the south. Oh, yeah, press the main. I mean, it's kind of it's really hard to kind of like actually select him, right? Oh my god, this division came back. <laughs> Reckon bridges came back, lol. That's funny. I mean, there's only four minutes left, right? Oh my god, are they actually going to catch my cavalry? Oh my god, that's so good. Please end, please end. Oh, that was close. Okay, so they beat us. But honestly, you know, considering. Considering how I wasn't even looking at this part of the battlefield when we moved, so I couldn't react to reinforce, I was busy looking at the ships. Honestly, not a bad engagement. So we lost 1,800. They lost 1,400. They outnumbered us by 7,000 men. We also killed 10 of their guns. And we lost, what, all of our guns? We lost all of our cannons. That sucks. Yeah, we haven't got to Confederate rifles yet. We're, we're, that's the first thing we're doing. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a decisive victory defeat. We also killed 10 of the 30 guns, which isn't bad. Like, we lost barely any men. Um, so, I'm not completely disheartened by that battle. Considering we were outnumbered by 7,000 men, the boys did good. The boys did good. And I guess what we'll do is I'll probably bring the army of Vicendo Valley across to engage them quickly. Whilst they're they're reeling from their battle. Due to his bad performance, Captain Archer has fallen in disgrace in the eyes of his men and the public. Your armies can build depots and a campaign map. Yep, store weapons, we know that. Most important is that the AI gives a sign of intelligence. Defeat at Winchester. Extra, extra news from the front lines reveals that careful of the citizenship's nature. Blah, blah, blah. The army of, sorry, that's the army of the Shendo Valley retreats. Again, the thing is, my armies weren't ready. I maybe started building them a little bit too late. And Lieutenant, I uh, lose his face. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the situation now. So yeah, we have the army of the Potomac, which is my stronger army. Which could come across. Again, then it means the Department of Pennsylvania can move in with 17,000 men. Which wouldn't be good. Good. But yeah, I mean, this army just got smacked. It's now falling back, which is fine. It's 13,000 men still. But it needs reinforcements badly. Like, they must be hurting. Give Lee command. I don't think Lee's uh, an appropriate officer right now, right? Lee's not risen through the ranks or whatever. Or of a high enough rank, or is he? Currently, we have Philip George commanding. It was pretty decent. Like, he's okay. I don't even know where Lee is. Is Lee? No, it's Benjamin. What was Lee at this point? Anyway, what was the division we said we were going to strip the dude of a rank of? Does anyone remember? Was it what? Again, I really feel like maybe there is somewhere. I feel like there should be a button here to, to like, open up his view. Like, there should be a button here to open up this view for that. So this is the Potomac. Does anyone remember? It was Butler's.
Was it was it Buck Buck Nurse? Butler's regiment. Can't see it. You sure it wasn't Buckner's? It was this one, right? This is the only one I can see. I feel like half these divisions weren't even... I guess they just weren't even built up enough to, to fight. Because we only had like, like four divisions. I feel like all of Frost's was basically non-existent. Yeah, it must have been Buckner's, right? So we're going to be replacing you. Good, sir. Even though he's actually really good. <laughs> like, to miss, miss many stars this early on is actually really good. Yeah, he's actually good. And again, I, I don't really know where I should be putting... I guess if they're redded out, they shouldn't be given this rank. Like, it's too low of a rank. Okay, you survived this time, my friend. Just this time. Uh, and do we have Confederate Rifles yet? Uh, Confederate Rifles! Boom, okay, boom. So, finance contra uh, Confederate weapons produce production captures machinery to produce domestic versions of a US service rifle, mainly covered with a Springfield model. Um, so yeah, we want to do this one, right? Confederate rifles immediately. Yep. One point two million, which is fine. Confederate army, Richmond, carbines also suited for mounted troops. Yes, cool. So someone goes, do you want to do suppress for populace or administration reforms? What does administration reforms do? Each level of this project will further shorten the time required to activate new policies. That wouldn't be bad. Basically, just research rate. How, much, how expensive is it? One million. I mean, again, like, I wish it would tell me a bit more about, like, I have no idea. Maybe it does again, you know, but it's tucked away somewhere. I don't fucking know what one million... Like, what is one million a lot? Is it not much? <laughs> Buckner, you are demoted. Why? Because your name is too similar. Okay, yeah, I think administration reforms is good. Like, it's, what other purple subsidies are we would we be looking? Occupation administration? We're not occupying anything. Railroads, I guess, wouldn't be bad. There's not really much on this side either, which is purple, right? Yeah, nothing on this side that's purple. Okay, I think administration is basically just like tech. Let's grab that as well. Oh, so obviously types are here. Nice, cool. Okay, so my war council. Oh, first things first. Does anybody want to name a division in the, uh, the Army of the Potomac? Question mark, question mark. Feel free to. Um, yeah, you guys are going to fall back. Kind of like tempted to keep on pushing you guys back a bit more, you know? But yeah, so yeah. First things first. Do you guys want to name any divisions? Secondly, should I bring the Army of Potomac across to engage this? I mean, I still feel like they kind of maybe need some more men. Because like them, they're some scary divisions. So what I might do is I might add... Another division to this army. Can I not do that? Does not let me? My army's too big. Am I a maximum for this? Is it, is it not making them? Oh, it's here. Sorry. Oh, did I just make a bunch of armies by mistake? Fuck. Oops. Is that just like spam out a bunch of crappy armies <laughs> by mistake? <laughs> or not? I don't think it did. If you have rifles, you win easy since the enemy mostly have muskets. Yeah, I mean, this is the army with the majority of my my best units, right? So Johnson's have Mississippi rifles, Springfield's Mississippi rifles, Mississippi rifles. Rifles, 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 Mississippi. So yeah, these guys pretty much besides maybe one unit. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we I think we, we come across here to push them back. Let's do it. Uh do I go by rail or do I just march? Guess by rail, right? Unless we get like attacked on the rail and that's bad. Let's do it. 
So he'll move across. It will allow the Department of Pennsylvania to, to come in. That's fine. His army's going to move down south and then regroup. They need to get their readiness up. How is our army over in the west doing here? Is it ready yet? No. Still very much on growing. Again, it's a decent army. Let them follow the army and then cut them off. Okay, cool. We can do that. Um, I am also actually a commander in this game, so I'm going to give myself command of one of these. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and... What's my worst commander here? Jones. Jones, my friend, you are being replaced, good sir. And you're being replaced by the Honorable Jackie Fish. He will, he will command the Fish Brigade. And the Fish Brigade will be the strongest division that the entirety of the Confederates can see. <laughs> Are you guys sick of my accent yet? Build more armies with green armies? I don't think I have any. Oh, you have an army here. But like, do they need? Yeah, build it. What you want me to build it? We already have a depot. Should it be better to upgrade it? We can't upgrade it. Like, is it, be is it a bad idea to have two depots next to one another? I feel like it is, right? As fast as you can, one, two, three, upon an army. Okay, so I should just build another one, you're saying? Can't put it on this road for whatever reason. Where's my Georgian army? Georgia army? Uh, in the south, I think. Yeah, it's down here still. I haven't really, I haven't put any men into it. Yeah, we are. We have the Western Army out here, not really doing much. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can take a depot here, though, right? To help out a bit. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, and, uh, our Hamptons is just down here, right, as well, ready to push up. Again, he just built a depot down here in case we needed to uh, then reinforce. Okay, let's go push him out of the valley, hopefully. Texan army. Uh, again, I don't really have the guns for that. Texan army is still just chilling. I haven't really moved them. Literally, the only army I moved with this one, I've built this up to like 16,000 and we're going to try uh, and conquer Missouri if we can. Union army's on the move. Okay, good to know. Major union victory. Major union victory. Hold up a minute. That was a minor victory. Thank you very much. A minor victory. Okay, yeah, the army is retreating still. Uh, and hopefully, you know, they are lacking what guns and stuff. Order weapons. Oh, yes. Wait, does the, do the policies happen immediately, right? Are, are the policies immediate? Sorry, the project's immediate when we do them. So we can now order guns. I mean, available tech as well. Okay, cool. So we just did diplomacy. I guess we want to do government funding. No, we're, no tech is fine here. I wasn't sure if it was, like, immediate, though. Uh, so what do we want? We're in Springfields, right? Orders available. We want... So what do we have? We have Richmond. These are cavalry rifles. And then we have... Richmond. And what's the difference between Richmond? So these are more expensive. But shoot faster and have better range. So I guess we just order these. Kind of need them, like, soon. Fucking hell take a while, right? 50,000 takes a long time. That's like an entire... That's over almost two years, though. Or will, will that speed up? And will they gradually come in or not? Do 50,000, just order 50,000. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> it will speed up. Okay, so like, as the, as the economy, as, they, as the AI builds more, and they'll gradually come in? Okay, good to know. Okay, we need you guys to go, 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 please. Hopefully, the longer they stay out here, the worse it's going to be. Because it doesn't seem like they've captured this supply depot that has, like, a lot of stuff here. So, army's falling back, which is fine. I mean, ideally, it wouldn't be bad to have these guys reinforced. They still have, like, good ammunition and stuff. You guys are building that depot still. 
It's only 1,400 men. Yeah, I really just like a blocking force. So yeah, basically we're just like hopefully waiting for this army to get strong enough. And then we either push it north to Kentucky or we push it down the river and we try and conquer this. Like they obviously have their army here. Currently going through the 24,000 men. They have 24,000 men here. Make the Richmond, okay. okay. Uh, we also want you want me to make Richmond orders? Also order Richmond carb oh carbines, yeah. I assume not fifty thousand, like ten thousand will probably be sufficient, right? Or even five thousand. Uh probably like three thousand be enough. Okay. So yeah, we're literally just waiting on the army, which is now moving. They're currently trying to take Winchester. Okay, well, we can always just buy more later. That's fine. And luckily, we're not seeing uh, the Department of Pennsylvania moving. I mean, again, it would take them time, of course, to start moving if they, they wanted to try and intercept. But the army is going to come in. It's not, like, amazingly ready, but, like, this army will take time to rail here as well. You guys are railing, right? Or not? So you're marching. Whatever. You guys are basically there. And I guess we could follow up with both these armies. I mean, they're still battered, but... My corp has reached the given... Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely get in there and engage in battle, please. Because we're about to take this. Oh my god, please get her in time. Guess move you as well. Railroad your way up here. Come on. Hurry. Don't camp. I should probably force march them. No, no, they're going to get there. That's fine. Okay, we got ourselves to battle them. Marching up the road. Uh, any available assignments? No, we spent all our funding. We close to anything? We could try and grab Austrian rifles at some point. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense now, which is good. Okay. Okay, we'll march up the road. And we are, we're playing on medium difficulty, but at a higher aggressive union. We're playing on the second difficult union uh, difficulty. Okay, so we've caught the army, which is good. They have decided to stand and fight. We still only have 13,000 men. And we get reinforcements coming in, but these guys are like broken. But our rifles are better, hopefully. Deploy to defend. The enemy is not offering battle if you don't attack. Order your units to deploy to defend and hold the day. But then just nothing happens. Yeah, obviously we'll, we'll play it, of course. So we've got Ivan McDonald versus Johnson. He's passed. So what, what is this guy? Can we see? So he's legendary. He's passive. He's mediocre administrator. Predictable. Officer focuses on artillery. And our guy is passive, disorganized. <laughs> oh, distinguished, sorry. Good administrator, skilled in divisions, officer, engineer. Okay, let's fight the battle then. Let's get stuck in. Uh, if this had full realism, it would be defend or die. <laughs> hey, how's it going, pigeon? Mod list is small question mark. <laughs> no mods. Legendary Lord? Yeah, it's Cole Franz. Goddamn Cole Franz crisis. Um, Battle of Winchester, Virginia, skirmishers, maneuvering, armies Where deployed for battle. Um, the Confederate field's 26,000 men. I mean, we have the reinforcements right to fight. But it's going to take it's gonna take us like an entire day. I mean, it's already 5 o'clock, so it's going to take us like an entire day to even get there. Um, we're facing the Army of Northeast Virginia under the command of Ivan McDonald. We have a strength of some 1,700 men. The enemy army is green, and the morale is reported stable. Okay. So we're coming on here. Oh my God, we have to go so far north. Hey, thank you so much for another $2, Pigeon. 
Yeah, I know. I've seen Henry Cavill is in talks to do a Amazon TV show type thing. But again, it's Amazon. So I, I feel like Amazon don't exactly have the best track record when it comes to shows recently. The real war starts when you build and when you build cores and you merge armies into large cores. So does that basically mean like basically, for example, the army of the Shendo Valley and the army of the Potomac basically form into one, like one army, but separately, like they then just become cores. Yeah, luckily the, the objective is the other side. Okay. And we do have reinforcements coming in later on as well, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, the objective is just to get up here as fast as possible, right? Um, so I guess we're going to marching. Do I need to put everybody like on the road properly? Are you guys not marching? I get I can't be the other side either. God, this could be bad. Is there another so road for us to take? I just feel like this is going to take forever to... I'm just going to take a frost up this road. Let's get us up here. Are you guys not in marching? Why are you guys in marching? Are you guys in, like, line? You guys are. I guess we'll just do this, like... Take advantage, take high up here. Why are you guys in marching? Why can't I change you into marching as well? Let's do it. I just the only reason I'm a little bit like like these are gonna take a while to march up there, right? It's gonna take ages to get on. I want everybody on one road. Oh, and Frost is gonna take so long to get moving. Totally didn't even think about that because the command's gonna have to come. There you go. He's moving now. That's fine. It's probably faster. Hey, Peter, thank you so much for the membership as well. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. We're actually not that far off. Two hundred. Really Ten members off. Hitting two hundred again. Pretty goddamn cool. Making some quick work up the roads again. You guys should be going slowly. The cavalry doing. I should probably turn the cavalry as well to skirmish or evade, right? So that if they run into enemies, they'll then back off. There's no other way, right? To, uh, that's what I want to do. So basically, they'll just. There's no scouting. Yeah, I can't click scout. Strength is not strong enough. But that basically means if they run into enemies, they'll fall back. End of the day, which is good. We pushed up enough so we can now reform at the end of the day. Uh, these guys struggle to get supplies. Resupplied. I mean, I don't I guess food. Uh, and we can deploy again. Okay. Oh, our deployment is so annoying. We're so close to be able to crossing this road. Uh, oh, and the other, ar the other army has arrived as well. Good. So then these guys can just rush up this road. Um, okay, good. How many, how many days can this battle go on until one side is broken? Or is it like until this bar fills up or one side breaks, right? Um, people are fairly supplied, which is fine. Okay, so let's reform Wes Johnson there. Just get everyone. If you guys can, like, squeeze across that river, please do. Three, four days. Yeah, I don't think we're <laughs> like, we going to engage them, you know, for a little while. At least you guys can use both roads, I guess, which is not bad. Sorry about that. Okay, now this, now Johnson's can mount the field again, go into marching. Yeah, and he can come up this road, I guess. We could go, yeah, I mean cross here and yeah, it'll be the same road. So yeah, I guess what we'll try and do move the other arc. I can't, I can't move him here, right? Yeah, wait, that's the place where I go. So I'll move him here. I mean, go up this river. Go up, go up this road. 
again leads us into Winchester. So I guess what will happen is we'll probably I'll probably take uh, Cook's division and we'll move up into like the heights here. So this is all high ground, right? Yeah, it's high ground. So we'll probably move his division up on this ridge, and then I mean again I don't really want Johnston's uh, core moving in because his morale isn't great. So maybe it'll be a better idea to move his uh, his core up here. Yeah, and there'll be reserves for sure. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. And again, it'll probably just like form up here, I guess. Like, I think the enemy will, will be around here, like defending this, but I don't want to go in like willy nilly, so we'll do that. And then Johnson's can move up the road as well. Let me just grab the uh, sex bots quick. Oh, wait, did someone already delete them? Oh, someone already deleted them. Thank you. Did someone delete the sex bots or not? I can't see. Well, I'm showing my stream labs, but I'm not showing my chat. Oh, because I haven't done this. There we go. Sorry. Boom. Oh, I use wrong channel. Got the amount of bots we ban on like a, a daily basis. <laughs> okay, cool. So they're moving. They're moving. Yeah, they're probably going to be set up like on this fence line, I would imagine. Which is fine, because if we can take the, the high ground, that'd be really good. Okay, I'll probably deploy for battle here. Yeah, these guys are getting up here. Grueling march, bro. Do I need to let anybody, like, get their energy back at all? Or is it, can I just keep on working them, you know? I mean, it might not be a bad idea to send some cavalry out here just to scout. You know, just send some cavalry maybe to these hills. Okay, there you go, yep. We're not going to be in range, right? Chill, 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 chill. Okay, there you go. You've got good vision of the enemy. They've got breastworks built. Oh my god, that's a very defensive position. Oh my god. That's sick by the AI, though. But we, if we take the high ground, we should be fine, right? Form line! Form single line! So yeah, I mean, our main goal, right? If we come across here and we take the heights. And then the other division is now coming in. Yeah, long streets. Long streets just pull up to, like, here, I guess. Johnson, right? Yeah, Johnson. Like, I feel like it... Oh, my God. Wait. People are already demoralized. You guys aren't even fighting in the goddamn battle. Um, Yeah, that, like, I wish there could be, like, a, a bit of an order of battle, like, here, maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, this is nice that you can click that and just click it, but I feel like this could be, like, a pop-up or something. I don't know. You could quite easily click on people. Oh, you guys are, like demoralized already. You guys suck. Anyway, here division's bucking over here, and we will we will mount up here. Because it is like sometimes a bit hard to like actually just find your main officer. You guys should be in single line, no? Single line. Uh, I just want there. Yeah, we'll shift our army across. You guys are fine, right? You're getting a bit bombarded, but you're going to get back behind the hill. And you guys are just fine. Just chill there. Okay. Overwrite. Right, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Do not really need you guys running across open field, to be honest. Which you're doing anyway. Just, 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 why are you coming back here to then go there? Luckily, he's out of range, I think. 
Um, just, yeah, we should be fine, right, to use this road? Their, their rifles can't be that good. I think taking this position is important because this looks down on their entire flank. But Johnson's coming up as well, okay. What are you guys doing? Are you guys not moving? What the fuck is going on with this formation? Hello? Yeah, like, what are you guys planning on doing? You guys should be in line formation. But what the hell is that? Why aren't all of you guys in line? Line. Like, why isn't everybody else in line yet? This is a bit of a fucking mess, isn't it? For whatever reason. Okay, everybody's just waiting for orders. But orders should be coming in quickly. I just have to give them time, I guess. Everybody does have their orders to move up here. Maybe the orders to form a line haven't arrived yet. I was playing pretty fast, but whatever. Oh, you guys have your orders. Why aren't you moving? Do I need to reorder? Because our cannons can sit up there. And then... Dark the cavalry route? Maybe. No, the cavalry just moving around the battlefield. Okay, so you guys go there. Right, because you guys are going there. And then this core is going to take the extreme left. Take the woods and then try and push them out here. Cavalry's like deep around here. You can maybe try and get charged, hit the enemy cannons, I don't know. Okay, to form a front line, it has to intend to be like this. You need to give them time. I mean, I was playing on 20 speed. I was expecting them to do it. It seems like they I just need to reassure the orders, to be honest. And what do you command? Like, this is another thing. Like, I don't exactly know what this guy fully commands. Isn't this, like, quite a messy? Are oh, your cannons, right? Yeah, we should bring him the order to set up here. Limber your cannons up here. The main command, they can probably just sit here. We have all of this forming up. Or the infantry commander of a regiment to line up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have. Uh, please don't tell me you're not, you're going like good. For a second, I thought it was going to go right down the road and then take this. Would not have been good. Yeah, none of you guys are. But it's going to be bloody day three by the time we even get there. Uh, sorry, what the fuck is that? Do they have a Gatling gun? They have a fucking Gatling gun! That's a Gatling gun, right? Oh my god, please run. Uh, does, is that a Gatling gun? I can't see. Uh, Division Army 85, I can't see. Okay, well we need to bombard the ever-living crap out of that then. Send out skirmishers? Uh, yeah, we will. Uh, we just need everybody to form up first, right? Yeah, I can send out some skirmishers to try and clear out that flank. Yeah, no wonder you guys are getting broken. Is Johnson up here yet? What the fuck are you doing? Do these guys just decide not to come up here or what? Vader was just like, okay, here they come. Rally those regiments support? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the goal is to take the hill and then basically turn the enemy formation. It's just taking us a long time to get up here, right? Where the fuck are you guys going? What the hell? I did not order you guys to go there. At all! Like, in the slightest! Luckily, Coke and Frost are right there. Sorry, did you guys... Like, where the hell are they all going?
But like, no, sir, we'll take the village. Well, no, because in multiplayer, the other person will be dealing with exactly what I'm dealing with as well. <laughs> Fucking hell, they're taking so long. Like, why didn't they just come with everybody else is what I want to know. Okay, finally. It wasn't even that they were unresponsive at all. It's like I never gave the order to go here. And yet the AI just decided to go there. <laughs> I mean, I don't really expect much from... From Johnston's brigades... They're literally here to form up and just, like, yeah, chill. Cannons should be almost ready to fire, though, right? Yeah, the cannons should be in good positions. Like, I think we're going to get some light skirmishing on day two. But that's about it. Yeah, the cannons can start bombarding their position now, which is good. I'm going to probably tell all these cannons, because I don't think they just have Gatling guns, right? So I'm just going to tell all my cannons to focus down their artillery. Okay, you guys are all here. I don't need to rest them right at all. God, this Hampton division is not looking good. Let's get let's get the main commander up a bit more as well. Your feud own initiative. This commander of his units is for high hierarchy acting on his own initiative without orders. Okay. So they all should be shooting the enemy artillery now. Yeah, I mean I'm 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 down to try and like soften up their brigades a bit. Oh, we've already counter battery the Gatling gun. Nice. Good job. Yeah, I'm not going to commit Johnston at all in this one. He, like, his army is way too bastard after losing that battle. His whole point is literally just to hold the flank. Like, hold this position. If they come out, then he'll push forward, but nothing else. I mean, half his division's not even here yet. Yes, we will skirmish. I'm, I'm like, a, it's annoying we can't see that. So we just want the Mississippi rifles, right? To... Yeah, I mean, we take the hill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a bit. Again, the battle doesn't end right anytime soon. But we still have another day of this. I'm going to let my cannons do work. We have the, the range. We're bombarding them. We've destroyed their Gatling gun. And we're doing we're doing damage to their lines. This, this militia parade already is, is shaking. Springfield rifles take the woods. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We're going to push these guys up. And then, I mean, he's doing his own thing. Can you also destroy these defenses or not? Oh, Hello. They are oh, they're laying down. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I'm just interested in trying to take out like, them guns. Luckily, uh, the previous battle, we took a lot of them, them guns already. Well, I think we've already destroyed the Gatling gun. It's, it's shaking. It's got no strength. So it's got no fans. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Uh, we're going to wait until 12 and then we're going to launch our assault. I just want these guys to have a little bit more time to form up. So we can do stuff if we need to. Because then 12 still gives us a good amount of the day to push up. But the enemy will not be able to fire back because you're skirmishers. Okay, let's send out some... Let's send out some men then. Skirmishers. 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 Okay, let's put these guys a bit further forward. Again, we need that scouting to really come in so we can actually see a bit more. And skirmishes, I guess. Because we know they have a division there. And all the long range. Yeah, can I just order long range on all of this? So the order's going out. Cannons are doing great. This is like a perfect position for our bombardment. So I wish the rest of the army would come out. God. 
These battles must get so crazy when you're dealing with like 60, 70,000 men. Like how many men were at uh, Gettysburg? A hundred and something, right? Use the free star commander. I don't know what that means. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah. Because it basically gives it to everybody. Okay, as I said, I'm really, I, don't, I yeah, I'm really nervous about running into them here. I feel like I just can't see them. And we'll, we'll start pushing up here, and then we'll take the woods as well. It's like there, actually. Go back further forward. I guess we'll push up here a bit. Yeah, I mean, you guys just push up a bit more, I guess. Yeah, you guys then just push up. Take that. Table words, and then I guess this, I guess just like filters over a little bit. Do they not have, did they fall back from here? I guess they must have, right? Let's go have a look. Am I gonna like run into them the other side of the hill? I guess I can't see yet. Okay, yeah, we can start taking pot shots now, perfect. Click advance, also, Jackie ordered them to run. So you mean like do like that and then go advance? Is advance like I'm going to keep on going until I meet enemy contact? Is that what advance means? Okay, he's going to get his order to move, shift his brigade over. Johnson's army is very close to fully arriving in force. Our cannons are continuing to bombard. Good shots here. I mean, it looks like we've already hit this militia brigade. And shoot anything in range. Nice, cool. Yeah, they must have completely abandoned this, uh, this hill. Unless I still just can't see. And let's do this. This will give us full vision of uh, the hill. Yeah, these regiments are going to shift over. Cannons are still bombarding. Good shots. Already 100 casualties here on my skirmishers. So do the skirmishers... The skirmishers still have... Um, still have the same range as the guns. It's just my guns have better range. Yeah, we are already moving up the hill as well. Johnson's brigade is here as well. Finally, okay. Again, only going to use that as a... It's 12 o'clock, yeah. I mean, I've already initiated a little bit earlier. Yeah, so they did end up giving up this flank. Interesting, okay. Reason why this division doesn't want to move up. And I feel like I just move up the entire... entire brigade, you know? To the hill. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and send uh, Frost's division up there. And whilst that's happening, I might advance here a little bit. Just so we can support effectively. Which will hopefully encourage them to, uh, to turn a bit, I guess. Advance. I already missed the chance to advance. So... You guys are just going to come in and start. Okay, be very careful there. You don't want to get too close and start getting hit by this. Uh... Yeah, okay, cool. We'll just take, fully take the hill now then. Okay, we don't want to overcommit. We know they have like 15,000 men, but... I'm having the skirmish just to keep on picking them apart. Fuck me, this army is still not in position. Okay, let's send... We are moving across here, right? How are the cannons looking on ammunition? Uh, They're still firing, intact, well-rested, untrained. Where's their ammunition? So 
Artisan can't see it. Oh, ammunition. 48. I don't know what any of that means. Um, so they are moving just very slowly. I guess we'll bring the cavalry up as well. To the woods. Because the thing is, I don't want to like, I don't want to push too hard on this flank because I don't want the AI to react. Like right now we're just firing away. Skirmish is doing a good job. 32 shots left. They're picking away on the second brigade. And then the rest of these guys can arrive and just start really firing in. Bring your, bring your division like here. That was fine. You guys are seemingly well rested. Yeah, these guys are in good spirits. They're eager, morale. It seems like Bohan's division and 5,000 men seems fine. Yeah, I think everybody's okay. Yeah, so Long Streets is, is not looking great. Oh, he's the artillery though. And then yeah, Braggs isn't looking good either. But I mean, yeah, I mean. Bohams is great. Uh, push Johnson so they can't wheel around. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I just, I just want to wait till this division's a little bit more in place, and then, yeah, we will. That seems like a good plan. Like here. Okay, you guys go there in advance, please. And then you guys go like there in advance. That way we're shifting over a bit. We're gonna definitely meet them in combat momentarily. Advance. Yeah, advance seems like a good idea. And then we'll, then we'll also have um, Bohams moving up. Fresh men. I think these are the men who've just been recruited, honestly. The day is only just kicking off as well. When does the when does battle end? Like six? We will break the key. We are firing a lot of shots here. The problem is as well, is like these skirmishers are firing a lot. And I imagine when they come back here, they probably then resupply. Are our cannons still shooting? They are, right? Yeah, cannons are still bombarding, which is good. Yeah, I mean, it's probably better to do the slower start, right? Because I'm learning battles and stuff. Shift over now. Yeah, shift over now, which is good. You guys are moving up. They're just on the edge of their range as well, right? Push bow hammer up a bit more. Yeah, I mean, I've got complete control of this flank. Where the hell are you going? <laughs> what are you doing, my friend? Uh, bring up, I guess, Johnson to this hill now. Or this position. And who's commanding? And oh, we've got cavalry here as well. Let's bring this cavalry in a bit more as well. And then who's commanding the artillery here? Probably can't see, right? I imagine. Bring the artillery up, I guess. And then we have this main HQ. Push up here. This cavalry and probably shift this flank. Oh, don't charge, please. Just move. Just move. Okay, one o'clock. I think that's a good idea. I think we'll probably push these guys back into their divisions now. So that'll just call them back. I don't know, you're walkers, right? Yeah, you're walkers. Good. Then we'll start the envelopment. I mean, it does look like they are bringing up reserves now. Yeah, their reserves are coming in. But we should wrap this flank up very nicely. Oh, we're actually already in range. What? No, cancel that. Why aren't you guys engaging? Why are you guys getting so close? You're long range, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, can they not see them, maybe? I'm almost one of my... There's no real need to push my crossbows there. Uh, Anderson is in contact now. So Anderson is now firing. Order longs range. Should we cancel orders? He should already be on long, but I sent the entire the entire core on uh, long. Already 400 catches. I think we're going to break that flank very quickly. Uh, and then let's move. Stop moving this round. There is also decent defensive ground here as well. Which is nice. I can't imagine second brigade is gonna hold super long. But I like really messed up for here though. Like these guys are gonna get hit hard though, right? I kinda wanna shift you guys across a bit. Then I want you guys to come in and like take that. Only taking five casualties so far. Yeah, there you go. Second brigade is breaking. Good, good, good. It's going to basically allow this entire flank to move up now. But I do need to engage him from the front, right? My set in double line, to be honest. We have so many men on this flank. I think double line might not be a bad idea. We'll let that order go out. I thought cannon, cannon's still looking good, right? Let's just move over. And you guys just like come in here. Bad idea. Let's do that advance. At least this way we have a reserve. Maybe some cavalry to charge that. Okay. Okay, okay. And of course, we still have these 5,000 men as well, which probably... Okay, now's the time to push these guys up. We'll get right into their flanks as they try and outflank us. The rest of their reserves are coming on. Hopefully we can reform up and take these guns before their reserves can get up. Okay, engaging some more of their soldiers. Is the cavalry up to here, maybe? The day's fighting is still harsh. We need to reform up on these guys like, really badly. Are you going? Why are you going there? You're part of... Sphere pretty advanced. Stop. Yeah, I mean, they are just mega clumped up right now. What the hell are they doing? Please just hit that with everything you've got. <laughs> these cannons set up as well. There is cannon coming. Come on. Need to get into their side support. Yeah, keep on pushing. They're like charging? <laughs> the crazy lads. Okay, the AI is not doing as good here. The AI seems like they're in a bit of a mess here. It's not skirmish. breaking these skirmishes yeah as I say very quickly uh, okay cool so they're gonna move up we need to probably rotate here they're already falling back okay he's taking his own initiative hey commander you did a good job there that's not bad uh, I respect it Johnson even though you're disobeying my orders I recommend it we're, we're about to outflank them here and then we've got yeah then we've got Boham which is really the only the only division that from Longstreet so it's still intact because Briggs is still 
unstable. I don't trust him as far as I can bloody throw him. I need to kind of organize this a bit better. So we, I might take the time to reform this a bit. Yeah, let's do it. You go there. You go like there, I guess. I want to try and shift these guys over just a tad bit more. You guys are really fast. Why are you guys so close? I know we're in double lines. That's probably why we're set up like this, but... It's a baying bastard. Uh, first contact. What is that, Bohams? That's over here. I did do double lines, so... To be expected. It was like... Shoot. I mean, this is literally my reserve core. I should probably bring up a reserve core just in case. The closer it is, the easier it will be. And then sort it out, I guess. Yeah, you guys are going to be like my... Only if, like, shit's hit the fan. Yeah, I mean, I think we've got them here, surely. I'm going to push up here now. Yep, go there. Can I tell them to, to double? Pull back, retreat? No. You can guys do that on the double if possible. I want to try and take them, them defenses whilst we're hitting them from the side. Yeah, look at that. We are hammering them now. Hey, how's it going, Apollo? Yeah, the cavalry is feuding, so they're gonna not going to do what I say right, but whatever. So they're going to do their own thing. Uh, hello, uh, Johnston. Probably not the best idea for you to be up here, my friend. Why are you guys falling back? No. I guess we'll send maybe... Yeah, your morale isn't great. But Greg's, Greg's morale's good, so... Let's see if we can get him up here. Uh, yeah. I, can I, if I don't charge... Okay, just go up there. Can I double time you as well? Double time your asses up there. We need uh, we need to inflict enough casualties so on day three, if the battle goes to a day three, we'll be okay. Yeah, perfect here as well. We caught them quite nicely. Yeah, I mean, again, we are dealing with skirmishes, but again, inconsistent in fire, we should smash this, right? We're both, like, in fortified land as well. Yeah, here we go, boys. Taking the fence line. Broken these guys as well. Good, good. And you guys move up here as well. Again, we're completely exposing our flank here. So I guess I should maybe move you guys in to like protect that a little bit. Um, military dispatch. My brigade has made contact with the enemy. Which is what over here. Yeah, we know, of course. You're saying you're winning. Brigade infantry while following your orders. I'm deploying my commanders ready and await your order. Good. Good, sir. I mean, even though you're feuding with me, but... Okay, skirmish is beaten back. Reserve brigades are moving into position. We have cavalry as well. Okay, I feel like I should probably, like, bring this cavalry up a little bit more so I can quickly get them in. Keep our command nice and close. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be a decisive battle. Yeah, they just... They abandoned the hill, like... You would think with this much defense, you would definitely keep this hill on the defense. Like, you'd, you'd put soldiers in this woods and hold. Can I retake the objective? Yeah. But I, I, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but probably not a bad idea. Also, having the cavalry here is not a bad idea. And we'll send you around to reinforce this as well, actually. Taking the objective will be good, but also it will cough their retreat as well. So I might also bring around this cavalry brigade and bring them like around to go right to the enemy line, so probably not. Don't do that. Just hey, your group goes good. Cancel that order. Halt. Who goes there? Got pushed back there. Johnson's brigade got pushed back. I think he maybe got shot on by these guys. Let's keep on pushing here. I don't ideally want to take on the enemy, but 
Palmer of Draws? Yeah, it's here, right? Or is that one of their generals? I mean, it's going to a minor victory. We could get close to a major victory. That'd be huge. So we can definitely take this now, for sure. So you guys push up there. Can I tell this cavalry to like charge down these round brigades or not? Just press the flank now. Yes, sir. Yeah, we completely broke them here now. They're shifting everything over. Okay, good. We literally take yeah, this entire core and just push up now. Yeah, we'll take the objective now. Perfect. Under a bit of cannon fire, but we could just charge the cannons. Uh, yeah, we don't have a um, we don't have a capture point, unfortunately. They're laying. Are they dead or are they laying down? Nice. So it looks like uh, Bragg's is needed. Okay. Good victory, I think. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pushing. They're trying to break out of this, I think, is what they're doing. They're, like, pushing forward to try their best to break out of this, like, encirclement they've got themselves stuck in. Now we're hitting them from the side here. I think our I think our cavalry is taking a bit of damage there. I think I want to stay here and try and capture the point. We'll send in this cavalry as well. Come cold steel as well, right? Cold steel boys. Try and stop that cannon, presume where you're on the objective. We also have uh, these guys up here as well. For some reason have formed a, a marching column. I love, oh my god, where are their generals going? They, they're fleeing, right? Their general's about to come flying. Are we about to kill this general? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's it, right? To be fair, we did outnumber them. We brought two of our armies against one of theirs. But we're getting very close to a major victory, I think. Man, this game would be so much fun multiplayer. Oh, it's such a shame I don't have like more bigger teams to be able to make this multiplayer. This would be so goddamn good multiplayer. Yeah, we're demolishing now. There you go. Victory is ours. Let's just clean them up now. Let's get this side of the river, I guess. Go in there and hit that. You guys advance. The enemy is in retreat. So I don't think we're going to major victory this bad boy, but still, I think we killed a lot. Captured some guns as well. Let's just charge in with what we can with our cavalry. Paying that charge. I think at this point it doesn't really matter. Like, I think we're better just shooting into the, the round thing. We got some units that are still there. Well, come on, they charged in and routed me. Or are they turning their back? I'm not sure. There's an entire hour for them to fall back, so they're probably gonna be okay. What the hell is that? What's that symbol? Can I like destroy the railroads or something? Oh god, I think I messed up. Steward in combat. 
The enemy fire accurately and effectively. My regiment suffered a uh, badly ability. Is that all my cavalry? The cavalry I charged in, I think I will broken now. Yes, yeah, Stuart, Stuart's been broken. Wherever he is. Yeah. That's fine. Can we, like, capture their generals? I assume you can't fire onto generals, but... I mean, let's push up. But they're gonna basically... I mean, this is not bad. They're gonna, like, retreat into Braggs's his line. And Braggs's needs some good experience on his soldiers, you know? These guys are trying to orderly retreat. Cavalry. Let's go over these guys. Try and capture some people. Oh, no, I'd rather get rid of the guns, to be honest. Because we don't really have a lot of cannons, so... I'd like to try and capture as much of theirs as I can. Yeah, the more, the more of, um, the more of Braggs is, it gets some like experience and not a good battle, not a very good battle by Frost. But again, we outnumber them. We have better weapons, but Frost, Frost's division definitely proved itself on the flank this battle for sure. I'm impressed by I'm impressed by Frost. Johnston did okay. He held the middle. But yeah, Frost Frost was definitely the 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 main high quality dudes of this battle for sure. Uh, please take these guys. Um, my brigade has made contact with the enemy. Well, here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, fire on them as they run. <laughs> Definitely want to get rid of these guns. Because, we like, they had 30 guns in this army the first times we fought. Um, when back in the campaign, but a prison camp and order the Richmond also. What do you mean order the Richmond? Yeah, solid victory. I mean, unfortunately, only a minor victory. But hey-ho. Wait, I can got away? No, no, get the cannon, please. Wait, I know you're tired, but go, go, go. Now it's time for loot and plunder. Oh, the Richmond rifles. You guys route? They're, boys! They're like right there. I know you're exhausted probably at this point, but still, just capture them. It's an artillery crew. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the more of their prisoners you hold, the more of their morale goes down. Oh, that's not bad. But early war, I feel like that's quite high casualties, right? Because I feel like the, ca the casualties at the beginning of the war were really low, right? That's not bad. We didn't lose a single gun and we took all... I don't know if we, if we captured them. I guess we'll find out. But we took 15 of their guns. We killed 3,500. We annihilated 100 of their horses. And we lost 1,400. That's not bad. I mean, again, we outnumbered them by almost 10,000 men. But again, 10,000 of their men didn't really join the field. So a lot of them were just in reserve. Getting used to the battle, you know. So good battle for us for sure. It's good though that the AI beat me. I mean, to be fair, the AI only really beat me because I wasn't looking in that first battle. But <laughs> uh, the Battle of Winchester ended uh, with a minor victory. Our losses mounted um, up to 1,700. The enemy believed to have lost 3,800. National morale of the enemy drops by 1%, while ours mili mili uh, military experience increases. Due to his battle honors, Brigadine General Frost has been famous, uh, has, yeah, has been very inspired his men due to his bad performance. Lieutenant Colonel Reigns, who's one of mine, right? What did Reigns do? Did he just not get involved? Uh, okay, well, that's fine with me. A minor victory, sir. Victory at Winchester. The army of Northern Virginia flees in panic. Colonel Baker loses face. Reigns loses face. Uh, support for the Yankees. Cool, that's good for us. 
Uh, no, wait, I wanted to see that, right? The results. The Battle of Winchester has ended with the Army of North, Northern Virginia retreating in panic. My command has earned us a total victory with the enemy army running for their lives. The enemy has reportedly lost to 3,800. Uh, there's 500 of them were killed. 800 captured. The morale is believed to be unstable. Our casualties totaled eight, uh, 1,800. 300 killed, 300 missing. Uh, we have captured 200, uh, 2,000 rifles and six guns. Nice, cool. That's, uh, that's good for me. Good, good, good. Uh, so you said we should build a prison camp. Does it matter where we build it? Yeah, and this army should retreat probably back across the river, I would imagine. Oh, they've got another army here as well. How strong. The army of Potomac here. 7,000 men. God damn. Okay, let's just build it, I don't know, on the railroad like back here then. I guess somewhere open. Somewhere like here. Um. Three million. God damn. How's our army looking here, by the way? Yeah, still very unlikely. But we, we, have, we should have another supply camp built soon. It's a shame we can't upgrade these yet. Um, supply alert is still still here. Oh yeah, here yeah, makes sense. Yeah, we will. We'll move the army, I guess, to the bridge. Um, and this army needs to rebuild a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous of them. Can they have another army here? Yeah, their army up in the north has moved as well, which is a little bit scary. You want me to try and take the iron mine right here? Uh, Shannon Donner can take back the army and then cover Alexandria. What do you mean try and take back this? Try and push him out of the here? Because yeah, moving on to Pittsburgh might not be a bad idea. We always have this army as well, which is very undermanned, but could move up. Try and maybe stop skirmishing. Uh, oh, cover. Yeah, I see. Sorry, yeah. Let's go ahead and cover this. There you go. Army routed, which is good. Oh, they're railing down to try and probably cover this. Well, I mean, we have... We're on 100% supplied, so... We're just running a little bit low on food. And all the weapons. Yes, you are right. Uh, weapons available to order. For Richmond, you want me to order? Didn't we already, didn't we already order a bunch of these? Oh, no, we didn't. I thought... Didn't we already order all of these? Yeah, don't I mean do I do I want both? Um so let's get uh, um, Do we have any better rifles? This is four hundred free rounds. Four yes, yeah, so these are better. I'm just wondering the ones we captured, right? But I guess they were probably Springfields. So it's better just to order both. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, Pigeon, sorry as well. If you're still here, man, I didn't even see that you donated another $5, man. I really appreciate that. Sorry about that. Then we get to build depots. Yeah, I mean, we already have a depot here, right? Is that not enough? I guess we could build another depot over here. I mean, again, it's just they're, they're not ready enough to build that. But I guess once this is built, we could probably move this army up to build another depot. Don't fight in the winter. Yeah, so how does weather affect... Uh, how does weather affect battles? Out of interest. Does it, like, hurt morale and stuff? I mean, it's still May, so we have plenty of time. I'm just very cautious of where... 
this army's going. Okay. Seems like they, they've gone back north. No, this army, sorry. Yeah, as soon as this army is into maybe orange. And like supply, I mean, they're just waiting for supplies and men. Yeah, I want to... Maybe I made this army a bit too big, but this army is like, yeah, 24,000 fucking men. Oh, but Okay, no. I probably messed up here then. We don't need this many men, right? Because this, this is telling me that the core will eventually be 24,000 men. But they only have three fat. They need to reinforce 21,000. So to be honest, um, the Mississippi Guard has 9,000 men. They outnumber them by three to one. So we should maybe just send them now, right? Once their readiness is a little bit up. Or I could even make them way... I should have made them way smaller. And then we could have just moved them. Would have been a good idea. Okay. I mean, are we going to engage the 7,000 men? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, they're railing into me. And then these guys are going to come around here. Just defend the uh, territory here. I kind of, I kind of wouldn't mind sticking around here just to replenish and rebuild supplies. Yeah, you're here as well. Yeah, get my readiness up. Yeah, maybe I went a bit too hard here then. Like, I mean, it's only a nine thousand man army. It's not like huge, but. Maybe like 6,000 would have been enough and just, just held there. We should probably take this, right, as well. Should I, t should I send this army to go and engage with this fort? I probably should, right? Oh, engagement. They moved in. Why is the uh, low morale here? I mean, they attacked me, right? I could move in. I'm surprised that they. My morale is so bad, though. Either way, we will. We will fight. Back onto the Richmond map. We are fighting on the Richmond map. We are number them two to one almost, but they seemingly think they can uh, push us back. I mean, this is the army that won the last battle. I mean, I guess maybe they're just a bit tired, right? Um, okay, cool. Uh, our scouts are near the enemy. We are facing the army opponent under Harvey. Harvey with a strength of 7,000. The enemy army is green. Indicated the supply. Wait, they attacked me, did they not? Why are we attacking them? I thought they attacked me. Did they not? Or was it like a battle I could initiate and they set up to defend? I have the men, so I'm going to do it. They have no cavalry, apparently. I'm going to push them, but... Yeah, we're just going to, like, form up on here and, and, and go towards them, I guess. Are they going to come at me? Jackie, the Richmond rifles as a reserve weapon. It outranges the Springfield rifle. You fire the first shot. Okay. 
Where's the objective? All the way up here. And they hold, they hold it. It's a union objective. But I, I feel like I, they attacked me, but maybe they chose the defensive position, right? Like, I guess they chose the defensive option in the, in the battle or something. Oh, okay, you can retreat and surrender there. Yeah, I guess they either chose the defense option or they chose the... Um, or like it was just like a passing attack and I chose to uh, to fight. Unit is cut off. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Let's go boys up again. Give your artillery up. Yeah, I mean, ideally we just want to take... I mean, it'd be really bad. It'd be really, really bad if they were sitting in these hills. This is where I would defend. Like, hold the river to my left. I mean, ideally it wouldn't be a bad idea to cross here as well. But yeah, I mean, taking these hills and then pushing up is a good idea. Because I imagine they'll probably be defending... Along this road. And it's only nine o'clock as well, so this is gonna be a full day of battle. Uh, let's maybe just send the cavalry up to like here. Uh, we'll set them to skirmish, right? Or to can't. Send the cavalry up. Maybe they can scout something. Let's they cross the hill. Because yeah, the, object oh, the object is still a bit far away. Um, okay, we can probably still push up then. Uh, wrong division. Where is the poop? Okay, let's maybe just push up to here. I imagine they're going to be coming into view very quickly. Here as well, yeah. Cavalry come up here. Cavalry should hopefully spot the enemy if anything crazy happens. I mean, they are literally defending the the road here. I guess we kind of take the woodland and then kind of flank round right. I obviously want to stop the enemy from then reacting. I mean, again, we'll be a minor victory if we literally just stood still. We would win the day, but I do want to. I do want to hit this army hard. And I want to get some more experience for this core as well. Okay, there they are. Where are we forming up? Why are you guys forming up there? Okay, Johnston. I want you guys to form up here, please. I want Frost to form up here for us, please. And just leave us with the artillery. Can, like form up here again. The artillery did great in this battle as well, and that's a good view for the artillery. Cavalry has taken the hill. Yeah, the cavalry managed to take this, which is good. So you guys just move into there, and you can dismount and just make sure you keep them busy. A little bit worried about them maybe them pushing up here, but we should be fine. Why are you guys messing up like this? It's not how I ordered you. Okay, they're sending out skirmishers, which is fine. Or Every film and skirmishes. And honestly, this should be it, right? Just big divisions. Yeah, this is it. This is all they have. Just three big bulky divisions. They only have 7,000 men. It's 3,000 there. 2,000. 2,000. So we can completely envelop them. Again. Nice. My cannons are already firing on me, but it should be fine. Yeah, we will do. I'll send out skirmishes. Just no need right now. We're obviously getting everybody into position first. And push the cook back across. Because, yeah, they're not going to be able to handle this for sure. Like, I'll even, I'll even push across here with our rifles.
cavalry can get ready around the flank a little bit. Again, the, the maneuvering isn't great with the cavalry because it's obviously quite a long way to send out messengers and stuff, but we should be fine. Oh, God damn. Sex bots never end, eh? It's an eternal war against them. <laughs> And by the way, guys, if you do, if you are enjoying this playthrough uh, and you want to see me maybe do another stream of this at some point, uh, do make sure to drop a like. Uh, you know, again, if this gets, obviously, it's not going to do the best view-wise, but if there's enough likes and people comment afterwards saying, hey, we want to see more of this, then happy to do that. Happy to maybe play some more. Okay. And like, I feel like half the time these guys, like, aren't doing what I want them to do. <laughs> Move up to there. Like, they're, like, kind of forming up. Like, what's this, what's this division doing? Maybe just, you know. There you go. Okay. You guys just rotate around slowly. Single line? Do we really need to? Buy? Like, I feel like double line is fine. It just gives me some more reserves if I need them. And like we're about to envelop them with two two uh two divisions. Have the artillery set up yet? Artillery should be set up now. Uh yeah, I want you guys to counter battery to be honest. Let's get rid of their cannon. Fuck are we? <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's push up now. Why is that right unit in like a in a marching column? You in line, who? Advance and then you guys push up in advance. Cannons are all shooting. Move up a little bit here. Okay. The cavalry can just continue to sweep your way across on this road. Basically, cut off any retreat there. Are they ordering to do long range? Uh, let's have a look. I guess we'll do the entire army. Infantry. I guess it doesn't say. Uh, no, medium range. So, should I do it? Should I do it on a... On a army standard or should i just do it here i guess division is probably quicker because he's right here right he can't do it why not why he can't do it cannons firing yep cannons are firing hopefully counter battering their battery they're reforming a bit seemingly trying to take the woods so we want to Ideally, you know, stop them as quickly as possible. So they, they kind of try and counter this flank. Yeah. yeah, like, why is this division on the flank doing a weird... A weird thing? That's very artillery looking. Still standing. Okay, here we go. Now starting to volley. I mean, ideally, I guess it would have been a bad idea to turn out skirmishes as well, but I think we're, we're fine. And yeah, immediately about to come in their flank as well. Maybe just push these guys up. Is so the terrain, maybe? So weird. I wonder why they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like I did not order this guy to do what he's doing, but I guess he's just doing it on his own accord. Like, it's, what the? Like, what's happening here? Yeah, but yeah. I feel like this guy is. Uh, cavalry could just come in for a charge, maybe. They're reforming, we're reforming, everybody's reforming. 
Keep out of blank with this turn. Advance your way forward. Advance. So I'll just fire. I mean, that's a point blank rank into these skirmishes. You can really demolish them. Yeah, we can see this coming down. So we're keeping our cavalry close. As you say, we give them a bit of a morale buff. I guess it makes them feel safe. Probably should bring my uh, artillery up to the hill. So limber up and get back up here. Pursue them. We don't want to give them any quarter, so keep on pursuing. Cavalry can keep on making your way around. What the hell is he up to? Yeah, they're trying to like, consolidate their forces here. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, don't, don't turn, please. Like, keep yourself, like, standardized, please. Like, what? You're just, like, for the line! What are they doing? Form a line! They're just like in marching column! Form a goddamn line, you idiots! You're in line! What have I done wrong? I must have done something very in the line! And yet they're like, no, we're, we're defending this flank. Because double line and they're on the flank, maybe? Yeah, no wonder they broke, idiots. Is that double line? There you go, they're doing it there. Cannon's moving up now as well. Good, good, good. It's time to break them now. Okay, now the regiment's doing what I want them to do. Good. Uh, military order dispatched. Contact with the enemy troops, which is good. And we should break these guys in, in quick fashion now. Take the objective. Crush this army. They're already hitting them from one side. They're already breaking. So cavalry can come in and, like, capitalize on this if they wanted to. I don't really see why not. Let's do it. In range? You're, not, you're on short range for whatever reason. Second line break. I mean, these are bulky divisions, I guess. What the fuck are you guys doing? Just shoot! Well, I think I think flag like the, the the orders are very the orders are followed um, if they're within a certain range, and then if they're outside of that range, then it's a messenger. I think is how it works. The enemy is retreating. Yeah, nice little decisive battle there. Uh, we will just continue to chase. I will, I guess, continue to chase there. If they're going to sit here, then... Yeah, you guys just engage. And you guys just engage. They try and keep that unit alive. So yeah, I think... So if I go to the HQ, you can see these bubbles. So you have, like, the, the inner bubble. And then there's, like, an outer bubble. And then there's an outer, outer bubble. And I think if they're within, like, the rally range, then the orders are pretty much automatic. Which, I guess, simulates more, like, flag stuff. And then if they're further out, then it takes up a bit more. So the cavalry should come in. I'm actually going to shoot my, uh, my cavalry, which is fine with me. Because then we can just do 
this. And get stuck into that. And just break the rest of them. Nice. Good job. That prison camp is going to be filling up fast, eh? Ah, nice little battle. This army definitely needs to rest, though. It's been uh, it's been in a lot of these conflicts for some time. Good job. Nice little victory, though. Though we should have, we yeah, it's a major victory as well, which means we killed over I think a third of their army. Yeah, we killed two thousand. We killed over twenty-five percent of their army. We lost seven. So we did actually take some casualties in that one. Uh, we also lost a cannon. We killed all their guns um, and killed two thousand men. Only lost eight hundred. Again, we did outnumber them. But hopefully, but hopefully again, that, that improves this army uh, as well. Uh, so we have lost 2,100 men. The enemy national morale drops by a percent and our military experience increases. Due to his battle honors, Colonel Withers has become famous and has inspired his men. What does national morale do? So you win national, so you win the game if you if you get the enemy national morale down to twenty five. I mean, it depends on like there's loads of things that affect it. Yeah. So another glorious victory, Colonel Withers. I wish I could click this and it would take me to the commander because I don't know. Like again, I guess if you're more of a history buff, you'd probably or you know more about the Civil War than me, you would. But like I wish I could just click this and then it bring up the order of battle and the command of it back, or just show me his picture maybe. Or like what he commands or what army he's in would be nice. If it's a Union general. Again, I have I absolutely despise. <laughs> I'm gonna say after playing this for four hours, like this is such like bad UI design. I can barely I have to literally squint my eyes to read this on a 1440p monitor. Like I it could just be like a a hard background with better text. <laughs> it really could. Yeah. Like, the game could definitely do with more UI. And I think UI is so important in, in a game like this where it is complicated and there are a lot of amazing mechanics to be explored. But again, it's just not their priority. And I understand it's a small team, right? So it's only a few people um, working on this. And they just don't have the, the resources. Um, you know, they don't have the resources to... To commit to that, it's better that they focus on the AI than they, they do this. But I think it would be very rewarding, at least maybe in their next game, to, yeah, <laughs> get someone who's good at UI to, to adjust this. Um, but anyway, so our casualties 900. We uh, captured 1,400 rifles and two guns. Hey, why do we need to buy anything when we're just... um? Why do we ever need to buy anything when we can just smash their armies? So yeah, this army definitely needs some time to rest now. We have taken the mine, though, which should hopefully give us, what, some more... That should be a big help, right, taking the mine. Um, I'm just very scared of anything else coming our way. But, I mean, honestly, we could probably raise some more men. Also, get out my area of Ohio. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so far, we're so far we're doing okay. Slowly pushing into Ohio. Like we we really maybe over exaggerated this push into Louisiana or Mississippi, Mississippi. I don't know, Missouri. Yeah, probably have just held off a bit more. And we still have six thousand men. But I think if I would have just waited for six six thousand men, it would have been fine. Wait, does this mean that his army is 20... I'm still confused. Does he? Does this mean he has 2,100 men or 21,000? Or does that mean he's, he has how many he needs? I assume that's how many he has. So he has a fucking huge army out here in the West. Okay, I just want to see where they go. So they should route. Yeah, unit routed. This army really needs to uh, to rebuild now. Get its readiness up. 
for sure. And I mean, so so did both my armies in the in the valley. I might add a, a couple more regiments to these though, because I mean he still has some more guns to add. Um, but uh, yeah, I might maybe add like another infantry regiment division. I, can I not? Uh, can I not move these? Really matter. Uh, Alabama, Louisiana, Kentucky. We have a lot of men to be raised. Virginia. Uh, so let's never raise another Virginian army. Um, yeah, that's fine. Recruits. Probably just like one more. Again, this is going to be a small. Nothing too crazy. Uh, South Carolina. Okay, cool. Just two more divisions here. I need enough Springfields to equip them. Yeah, that's fine. So then Jones comes in with 4,000 men, brings up the army of Vicendo Valley up to 7,000, and then the army of Potomac could probably do have some more men after fighting that hard. Um, so Potomac is here. Uh, yeah, we could probably do with another infantry. Like, just, again, just a small one. I feel like we have enough men. We have to take from Alabama. It's like another, yeah, let's just get like two regiments of 2,500. That's, not, I mean, I say it's hardly anything. That's like another, that's a lot of extra soldiers, right? That's just a casual 5,000. And you said we should order the other guns as well, right? Uh, are we still doing this right? Yeah, we're doing... Are we doing a policy? Yeah, we are. We're doing industrialization. It's done in 16 days. Cool. Um, we said we should order the other rifles as well. Uh, order placed. Order arrived. Some more Richmonds. Uh, let's just order, I don't know. 10,000. I guess the sooner we get the better rifles, the better as they filter in. I know this is Battle Lord. No, we're playing uh, Grand Tactician. We've almost. How crazy would it be if like we actually did like manage to cut off the Pennsylvanians, like the the, the east from the west? I wonder like historically if they ever did they ever do that historically? Again, uh, my Civil War knowledge is very very minimal. It's not really an area of history that I've dramat like I dramatically look into. How much more ancient, like Hannibal, Alexander, Caesar, Octavian, you know, Crassus, etc. That's that more ancient. And then, like, obviously, European Napoleonic history. Um, but yeah, I mean, did they? They never did, no. Because, yeah, I know they, they basically, there was just like a million battles here, right? <laughs> In Virginia. Which is so crazy, like, that the Confederate army was so close to the, the capital as well. Yes, that's insane. Grand Company. Today issues 25 million bonds. Hell yeah, more money. Let's go. No Union did more of the cutting off. We took Pittsburgh. See, I guess most of the, the fighting was around in Virginia, right? How much did the, uh, how much did the, um, how much did the Union take before the Confederates surrendered? Like, how much did, where did they push to? Did they take North Carolina? Because I don't know where Gettysburg is. It's in Georgia. No, is it in Georgia? Where's Georgia on the map? I mean, Georgia's all the way down here. No, it's nowhere near. Where's Gettysburg? I know, I know Charlotte. Charlotte is like a very famous. Is that a famous battle site? They took Vicksburg. Oh, it's in Pennsylvania. God damn. So, what did the uh, did the Confederates like break all the way? I should probably not be playing as well whilst I'm talking here. So, boy, they pushed around all the way here. Where is Gettysburg? Hey, how's it going, Apollo, as well? Obviously, I know you were in earlier, but good to have you back in. 
Is it, is it not marked on my map? Or am I blind? Yeah, I can't see it. Am I blind? I don't think so, right? Scroll in more, does it? Am I literally blind? Is there literally somewhere called Gettysburg? I just can't see it. Oh, Gettysburg right here. Yeah, I see it. So what, the Confederates tried to push around and then try and like encircle Washington and then they were stopped at Gettysburg. Which makes it even... I guess that. I guess that's why, like, yeah, it did develop into such a large battle, right? Because the Union had to throw everything they could at Gettysburg to stop the Confederates from march. Sorry, yeah, stop the Confederates from marching on um, Washington and cutting the the roads in, and rail into Washington, and obviously the Union and yeah, by that point, as the Union throw more, it's like the Confederates are like, well, we're kind of all in here because there's no way for them to then. Yeah, like, it's quite a... You've crossed the river. It's going to take a long time. If you try and tactically retreat, you're going to get chased down. Does this map... Does this game uh, have a Gettysburg map? Because I know there's, like... There definitely could be more maps from what, from what people tell me. But there are, like, you know, enough... Again, a lot of the battles are fought in the same areas, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gettysburg started at like a as a skirmish and then just more more and more soldiers were sent to it. Give the Army of the Northwest more recruits. What's this? Army Mississippi Guard, Army of Tennessee. Northwest is all the way over here, right? Oh no, it's not right. This is Western. That's my reserve army, right? Or not? That's Hampstons. I think I have a merge the two armies here. Yeah, not a bad idea, honestly. Army of Tennessee and the Missouri Guard. How do I merge them? Do I have to merge them in the options? Like here? So we want to merge Tennessee and the Missouri State Guard. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll just... I mean, who's a better commander, right? I wish there was a way I could just, like, click and bring up Army of Tennessee and Missouri Guard. Army of Tennessee and Missouri Guard. This is Missouri Guard. They're led by this guy who is pretty decent. His initiative isn't great, so it takes him a little bit longer. And then... I mean, I guess I could just replace him anyway. And the Army of Tennessee here. Led by this guy who, again, is not great. Uh, so I assume I just transfer. To the State Guard, right? Uh, do I just do this? Uh, yeah, you can have that. And then artillery. So I'm just going to have a lot of artillery. I mean, I guess I just, this guy just gets deleted. There you go. Cool. Nice. So the Missouri Guard gets another couple thousand men again. They're not really up to scratch. But they're going to have to fight 20,000 men. Very cool. Pretty much crossroad area where all the armies end up meeting, held the live cavalry confederates, allow the black hats to arrive and escalate. Yeah, I mean I've been watching I've been watching a really good documentary about Hannibal in Italy um over the past like week or two. And it's so interesting, like, how we have like no real I mean, I guess maybe later, uh like late like in Civil War and times there's a lot more written about it. But like in regards to ancient battles like how battles are fought and how how like armies actually came to choose battle and stuff is just so like who knows how that happened it's so interesting 
like when Hannibal's like mar oh god we've got a bug here I mean as Hannibal's like marching around Italy like for the most part the the consoles are just following him you know and just keeping at a distance and yeah, this is so so interesting Really, really crazy. Uh, but guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream there. We've been streaming for 14 hours. This is a really, really fun game. Um, again, if you enjoyed it, please do drop a like. Because uh, I'd be down to definitely do more of this. I just need to kind of gauge if people want to see it. And comment on the live stream after we're done as well. Oh, Neil, how's it going, Victor, as well? Welcome, man. Um, can you see in the chat? Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely continue this. If you guys want to see it, again, let me know. Also, how's our British intervention? 30%. I only blockaded once as well, which isn't bad. But yeah, I'd be definitely down to continue fighting. I think we, we really do need to improve the, the, the quality of the armies here. Because that's, that's only 13,000 men. But we know they have another 20,000 somewhere. Is it this one, maybe? 12,000 to the north. Yeah, I mean, that's up to 17,000. And that's going to be up to 17,000. We're going to have two 17,000 armies. And we could even bring up a reserve. Like Hampton, we can start building up a bit of reserve back there as well. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, and I would love to... And again, it's not really that important to conquer this, but I wouldn't mind taking our army up the river and just trying to take this. But 20,000 20, men is 24,000 men there now. Maybe a bit for us, a bit too much to deal with. We're going to be up to 12,000. So it's going to be number out number us two to one. Yeah, I mean, I, we might just wait for him to come down into the south if he decides to do that, and then we push up and try and take the, uh, try and take Missouri. But yeah, that's going to be my main focus, I think. Obviously, bolstering the, the, the assault around Washington and building up and getting ready to push there. Well, you should think I should build up the, uh, the army here here right and then take smith and start sieging all out here like all the forts out here the indian lands yeah i also need to make sure i uh conquer here as well right i think that's what you guys were gonna do afterwards like siege these forts out that the uh union still have so we're just firing on the the fort is just firing in uh, but cool, yeah. Well, make sure we save here. And as I said, make sure to drop a like if you do want to see more of this. I'd be down to continue on. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support as well. Um, thank you, thank you very much. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you.